just just taking shoes off. <laughs> oh, what's up, guys? Oh, I dropped the music back down on a volume here. Just taking uh, oh all of the stuff off. Uh, off, off! I say. There we go. How's everybody doing? Oh, there we go. Oh. All right. Oh. Nice, Caboose. Um, and as far as yeet goes, um, I told you, there's video recording of Jeremy Clarkson of Top Gear fame in 1998 splashing water onto his car windshield uh, windshield, and saying, yeet, as he throws the fucking water. He literally yeets the water onto the windshield. Just saying. And Clarkson as is his boomer as they fucking get. So... Um... Uh... So if you're wondering about the origins of those, oh. Mm. Oh, I don't have anything prepared. I did get a de halfway decent workout in. Halfway decent. Yeah. We'll see how the elbows and forearms feel here in a minute. Oh. All right. Tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow's the 24th. Okay. Um, I know some of you still want to do bad movie night, so um, we'll see if we'll see if we can't make that happen. I, I have to do pa like presents at some point. So my family does uh, presents on Christmas Eve, not Christmas Day. Because um, my mother and I historically um, basically just hate Christmas. <laughs> Well, like, we just want to sleep through it. It's, we're just like, why Why am I going to get up early and fucking do whatever? We, My mom and I have always just, like, sleeping through Christmas. Oh. But, uh, so, I mentioned in passing the other day. Um, oh, Rev. Form is everything, Rev. Form is everything. Um, I mentioned in passing the other day that like some fucking kid died in a bouncy castle and was like the sixth one to die this year or some shit from it. He just had his funeral. Kid was uh, 12 years old. Um, he died last week in a freak jump bouncy castle accident. Um, I, I don't know how I feel about. Okay, so I'm not going to show it. Um, they had a PlayStation coffin, like Sony blue with the PlayStation logo and the jo joy con, like, uh, not joy con, but the, the joystick controllers and shit on it. It was weird as fuck, but, um, I thought, I just thought like, you know, freak accident. Maybe he like, you know, spun around and snapped his fucking neck or something when he was flipping around. No, no. <laughs> I was like, I was like, holy fuck, really? The wind caught the bouncy castle and just whoop up in the air. Yeah, it, it just took it like 30, 40 feet in the air and dumped the kid out. I was like, holy fuck. I was like, oh, all right. So that's how the kid died. Yeah. The bouncy castle went like 30 feet in the fucking air and just whoosh, turned over and dumped him. It's like, oh, <laughs> yeah, I thought it was just some like freak spinal column, cerebral hemorrhage sort of fucking incident. Like, you know, a kid jumped on him accidentally or something. No, no. Took him up like a kite. 
and dumped him out. I was like, holy fuck. All right. I, that's beast. That was my immediate thought. I was like, uh, 10 stakes, anyone? <laughs> uh. Why wouldn't I be anti-capitalism? Why, why wouldn't I? Given the commodification of food, housing, healthcare, rampant abuses, the coerces, uh, coerciveness of the system, the exploitation of workers on a, gl on, on a massive global scale, neoliberalism just taken as a whole, you know, I, I'd say I have a couple of reasons to at least be critical of it and say maybe it's time to, I don't know, maybe put some revisions in place, maybe consider updating the, uh, the system, just a touch. Yes, we should definitely should have uh, we should have tradable health care. Yeah, the commodification of health care in the United States has been one of the best things that's ever happened to our country. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 100 percent. Yeah, yeah, you're you're really swaying me here. Yeah, the fact that you will starve to death, die uh, die homeless in the street without access to health care is pretty much the definition of coercive. That's pretty much fits even a dictionary definition of coerciveness, not even a political science or psychology definition of coerciveness. It's it's so blatant at that point. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> so you're stuck on an island with one one person. Yeah, we're not doing Vosh's fucking coconut example. Oh, Jesus Christ. You don't have to tag me every fucking... F By the way, are you a ban evader? Because that's what I'm seeing here. Are you re Wow. Okay, one, don't talk to me about healthcare. Grew up in the healthcare system. Had a mom who runs at a corporate level healthcare. Um, is a corporate reorganizer, um, business administration, um, as well as an RN uh, first. So please don't don't try and try and explain why healthcare costs the way it does in this country. It isn't because it's worker run, which is the lamest attempt to dodge the fact that there is massive profiteering um, that didn't used to exist pre-Nixon administration. Kaiser Permanente in coordination. I'm sorry, permanent, uh, the Kaiser Foundation. It wasn't Kaiser Permanente at that point. Uh, Kaiser Foundation in coordination with the Nixon administration ushered in the for-profit era of healthcare. In fact, most of the boomers grew up without for-profit healthcare in the United States. Uh, fun, fun, fun iterations. Um, so explain to me why uh, EpiPens are $600 when they cost less than $2 to manufacture, medicine and device included. Explain to me how the doctors and nurses are responsible for that, please. Please, that, that'll be great. Yes, please explain to me why the worker-run organizations of the doctors and nurses, who, by the way, don't run most modern uh, incarnations of industrial-level healthcare in this country. So most of that is handled by the business administration side of hospitals, university hospitals, and um, even doctor's offices have business managers these days. The doctors and the nurses don't actually do that themselves. That's foolish to even claim that. So... Please explain to me why EpiPens, which go for over six hundred dollars, co uh, cost less than two dollars to manufacture, epinephrine included. Please, I'm waiting for that explanation. How how did the doctors and nurses make that happen?
The EpiPens cost $600. They actually cost less than $2 to manufacture device and epinephrine included. Mylan, the manufacturer of the EpiPen device, and King Pharmaceutical, the manufacturer of the epinephrine, which upstream is actually owned by Pfizer. They cost less than $2 to manufacture, and they cost, uh, they cost the, uh, the individual, the patient, $600, just over. Explain to me how the doctors and nurses, the worker-run organizations in healthcare, created that cost, please. I'll wait. Uh, in the meantime, um, okay. Uh, Kat, thank you. Uh, Kat Amnesiac, thank you for the follow. Um, and hey there, Jedi Mind Tricks. And there was somebody else. Oh, oh, interesting. So the commodification of, uh, of healthcare is a problem. Or, or, or pharmaceuticals not a part of healthcare in your medical device, pharmaceutical supply line uh, of healthcare. Is that not a part of healthcare in your definition of healthcare? So apparently the commodification of it actually is a problem. Uh, actually it is, we just covered it two days ago. We, we went into it in quite uh, great, uh, quite great detail. That's why I can explain to you that King Pharmaceutical is the manufacturer of the epinephrine that goes into the uh, the EpiPen device. This is manufactured by the Myland Corporation. Corporation, but Pfizer is the parent corporation of King Pharmaceutical because they uh, they actually uh, divested themselves from the uh, my, from the device side. So there was an a uh, anti competitive agreement that was reached between the Pfizer CEO and the head of CEO uh, the head of Myland Corporation at that time, who incidentally would be Joe Manchin's daughter. Fun fact. Um, due, uh, due to legal processes and uh, discovery uh, under those legal processes, what we discovered was the, uh, the emails exchanged between the head, uh, the head, the C levels at Pfizer and the Mylan CEO at the time, Joe Manchin's daughter, that they coordinated in an anti monopolistic practice uh, and convinced the uh, head of uh, the leads of Pfizer to divest themselves from an EpiPen competitor manufacturer. They shut down that aspect. They reinvested those, uh, the, uh, those funds in the King Pharmaceutical side, buying King Pharmaceutical. And then the uh, epinephrine that is supplied by King Pharmaceutical goes downstream into the myelin process. And then the overall cost is just under two, uh, $2 per device. And the co uh, retail cost to patient is just over $600. We covered this in depth. So you can claim ignorance all you want. And well, I don't know, but well, I do. Because I talk about this stuff on a fairly regular basis. So. Yes, but the profit incentive one, uh, how do you feel about the labor theory of value under Smithian economics? Because the profit incentive is directly correlative to greed. And greed is an unchecked human emotion. So if you don't actually pin it to the floor, then what you actually have is profit over everything, which every psychologist, every sociologist, and any uh, business major who study this at any length would characterize businesses and corporations as antisocial personality disorder, or at least market of those traits, especially the dark tetrad. So they are, uh, corporations and companies operate as basically functioning uh, psychopaths. So we can't count on them to do the right thing. And when you have an entire system that is predicated upon the commercialization and privatization of the commons, which is what capitalism is, it's about the privatization of the means of production, right? It's about the removal from the commons into the private space. Um, then what you have is an unchecked mechanism that will do exactly what we see it do. Like, oh, well, we could, we could strap it down with government. Uh-huh. 
So you're counting on politicians to remain neutral in that scenario, right? Um, so lobbyists aren't going to be a thing. Campaign finance funding is not going to be a thing. Bribery is not going to be a thing. Oh, wait, it is? Oh, shit. So. Anyway. Uh, what you got, Karina? Oh, yeah, 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 Magnus. Magnus, sorry I was ignoring you. If you got questions, Magnus, either uh, send them on over to Karina directly or tag me with them. Um, and I will happily pivot over to you, Magnus. Welcome, by the way, Magnus. And thank you, Karina. Oh, what do we got? Um, what do we got from Nightloader? Cool. Wait, did somebody think Canada is a socialist nation? <gasps> I mean, that's dumb. I don't know who said it, but if somebody thinks Canada is a socialist nation, then they don't understand socialism. What is socialism? Please explain to me what socialism is then. <laughs> Axel. Yeah, I don't care. Again, what is socialism? Okay, give me a fl give me give me one definition at least. Give me something. Pretty much public ownership. Okay, so public ownership of the means of production is generally the definitional set for socialism. This is roundly accepted. Or so, uh, public uh, uh, ownership of the commons. Sure, okay, cool. How is Canada socialist again? You do understand there's a difference between socialism and socializing, right? Like, there's a world of difference between... Wait, wait, oh shit. Is the United States military socialism? Are you going to bite that bullet? Will you bite that bullet? It is. You, it, it, wait. So you you will you'll bite that bullet and say the United States military is a so, uh, is a socialist organization. Cool. All right. Cool. That's a little crazy, but at least you're consistent. I'll take it. I'll take consistency over a lot of stuff. I'll take consistency over a lot of stuff. So cool. Um. Uh, Seeker, I'm going to be a dick. Uh, I'm going to be a complete dick, Seeker. How about you open up the International Encyclopedia of Political Science, an actual political science text um, that is a compendium that is also $1,400, by the way. Um, but why don't you crack the International Encyclopedia of Science, which is to political science as Black's Law Dictionary is to the legal profession. And go ahead and look up communism for me. And then you'll find that it's actually got a definition. A descriptivist. I love your name. We talk about prescriptivism descript versus descriptivism all the time. And the fact that somebody has a name called descriptivism or descriptivist, I love. Are you using it in a linguistic fashion? Are, are, are you actually talking about, or is your name uh, iterating out? Um, a linguistic definitional set? Because if so, love it. I'm here for it. Oh, you did? 
I'm sorry. I missed it. All right, cool. Um, I dispute everything about you, Seeker. Here's, here's if you're going to dispute every source, every definitional set, every aspect, I have decided that I'm going to dispute your existence, and I think you're a bot. So good luck to you. Ratty. Um let's see. Bro, I'm new. What's your ideals? That's a big question, Ratty. That's a big question. If you want to narrow it down, I've got a lot of them. Um, but I, I fundamentally I'm an anarchist, so I classify philosophically as an idealist, technically. Um, but spread that around with a heavy dose of pragmatism. Yeah. Um, look, Amnesiac. Hey, Buffet. Uh, do you believe that legalizing drugs would be better uh, move for the United States and decreasing crime and things of that matter as well as promoting safety? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Buffet. I, it's not even whether I believe it or not. The empirical evidence gathered thus far in a global stage for those that have engaged in this activity shows that it's the right decision to make for a variety of reasons. But, yeah. Viva! Viva! What's up, Viva? How you doing? How's Germany, Viva? It would decimate the jail labor force, though. Oh, I know. Think of the prison industrial complex, won't you? Um, okay, Magnus, uh, Magnus, um, hierarchy, vertically integrated um, power dynamics. Your boss is above you. Your, your boss gets to tell you what to do. Heterarchical is a horizontally organized um, power dynamic, meaning everybody is essentially equals. Um, and so it's a more direct form of uh, democratic processes and usually uh, involves something along the lines of consensus decision making or at least approval voting. And ideally, I would like to see approval voting in a fluid democracy setting. But either way, hierarchical, person above you gets to tell you what to do. Heterarchical, we all get a say in it. There you go. They're already timed out, Karina. That person's already timed out. I don't know what you're doing. Oh, well. I wonder if I can do it this way. Oh, okay. That's the command structure. Cool. Um, smoke it if you got it. Moab. Um, you know, down with bunk weed, right? Up with dank. But other than that, if we, uh, whatever, I don't care, Karina. I'm, I'm, I'm at this point, like time them out again. If you, they come back or whatever, I'm, I'm, I'm over it. You're a mod. You should be able to do this yourself. Um, um, so yeah. Indica, ratty, indica. Um, an indica leaning hybrid for sure. Um, but indica heavy is my territory. Um, I'm already a thinker, so I don't need sativa ramping that up into overdrive. I like a good indica. I mean, at least the cops are on board with an amnesiac. Uh, let's see. 
Yes, sir. The name is a reference to linguistics. I'm an aspiring TTRPG editor. Nice descriptivist. Um, yeah, we, we talk about, um, I just explained what a heterarchy was. How you go about assembling one is to, uh, uh, is to organize a group around some sort of direct democratic processes where you don't actually have representation, but you have a uh, delegation. So nobody is actually in charge of you. So you have direct dem democratic processes using uh, approval voting in uh, a fluid democratic style um, or consensus decision making. But the, the baseline of it is, is that you don't actually position somebody up above somebody else with the authority to tell them what to do. The entire process is de uh, democratized. That's how you go about assembling a, uh, a heterarchy. Um, what's up, Corey? Puka, I get it. I get it. I just don't need. I just. I just don't need it. Generally, if you're not a dick, they'll pretend they didn't find your weed. <laughs> That's good. That's good, Amnesiac. Uh, let's see. I had. Uh, wait, that just scrolled by. Um, I. Oh, I had Kai Peg for a pure Ritteralis, man. Uh, what a shock! Um, yeah, no, I'm 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 up in I'm up, I'm up with the Afghani Kush and shit like that. Um, the Asian, I'm good. Oh. Um. And hey there, Bush. Cupcake. Oh. I'd be meaning to ask you any opinion on Paracon, if you've heard of it. No, I haven't heard of it. Um, are you talking about. Wait, 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 wait. Are you talking about participatory economics? I don't think I've ever seen it. Like, when I went and searched for it, that's the first thing that came up. I don't think I've ever seen it. Um, portmanteaued that way I'm like it's in there hold on it's in there um Pro okay wobbles yes um well it's decentralized it's uh social owns uh social ownership of uh means of production in the commons so it has a lot to say uh, it's it's got a lot of benefits over um you know centralized uh centralizing communism or planned economics so in that regard i'm already a fan um but I don't know enough about it in action. Like I, I've never uh, been involved in a an experiment run of it, so I don't, I can't speak about it beyond that. All I can say is, from what I know about it, that it at least doesn't have the red flags that I as an anarchist, anarchist would normally like drive me away. Yeah. So I'd be open to seeing, I'd be open to seeing somebody uh, demonstrate or explain further wobbles. Yeah. And then I would take my critiques from there.
Uh, Wobbles, let me know what you think when all is said and done and tell me if it's worth me throwing it into the queue. Um, yeah, I'll, I, you know, I'm always interested. Um, Reagan's inaction in the HIV crisis alone is qualifiable as genocide. Reagan's purposeful inaction, mind you, during the HIV crisis is qualified as genocide. So that alone, we don't even have to go outside the country's borders. The purposeful elimination of a, uh, of a group based on identity? Well, I don't know. How so? He didn't care because they were a bunch of faggots. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I still take this a little personally as a gay man. Yeah. Reagan didn't give a shit because it was a bunch of queers who were dying. So he let them die. He purposely stalled the United States government's uh, re, uh, response to it. He drug his feet. He was in coordination with the fucking evangelicals as well in this country, and they helped drag the feet as well. Fuck Reagan. Genocidal maniac. Fuck that asshole. <laughs> yeah. Purposeful elimination uh, of uh, people uh, based on their identity. Fucking genocide 101. Fuck Reagan. The way here his wife could suck a mean dick. Uh, descriptivist, we've probably, uh, we've probably got some recommendations, um, from people in chat, uh, but, um, it won't come from me. I, I don't know. Oh, and everybody, just in case you're wondering, Seeker got banned, one, for, um, being ban evasion, um, but two, uh, for saying that, is it that he didn't care or is it that you had inherently STD prone sex and that caused problems? So, you know, Seeker has been shown the door. Yeah. Oh, also, their account has been recorded. So, you know, if they're still here, Seeker, go fuck yourself. Yeah, honestly, I hope horrible things for you, Seeker. I, I hope horrible things. That's, that's, yeah, I, I, <clears throat> so fuck off. I hope you stub your toe from now into eternity. <sighs> Separating the wheat from the chaff real quick, aren't we? <clears throat> um, anyway. How are y'all? Um... How's y'all like holiday season going? Y'all got any crazy fucking family you're putting up with or dealing with? 
Che. Yeah. Couple of them, actually. Um... Oh, well, in that case, yeah, descriptivist. They'll have, people will have a few for you. Um, back hurts, but overall I'm well. I think Seeker wants to choke on some D and hates himself for it. Uh, maybe. We made plans to go to my grandma's and she's canceled and then uncanceled twice now. Okay. Caboose. That's, how far away is your grandma's? Like, wh how much of a trip is that if, like, she calls at the last second and you're, like, three minutes out from her? I'm like, Fuck. About 20. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, who gives a shit? Let her, let her cancel and uncancel as many times. Hey, we have an imperialist. The family farm is hoping that uh, Putin takes Ukraine and China takes Taiwan. We've got an imperialist in chat. Yeah. Rev, I'm in that camp too. My grandparents are dead. Uh, lefty, it's all about Russian border security more than anything else. Russia's on the brink of a demographical collapse and they need the access to the uh, water. They need access to the sea um, and Ukraine sits on that access. And so they need to push their border, border forward a little bit more before they have a demographical collapse and they can't actually get this job done. That's, that's basically, I mean, there's a lot of like history between the two countries, um, uh, for sure, but that is the driving force at the moment. Um, beast. Got people coming over for dinner tomorrow. Going to try and get, uh, try to not get into a drunken argument with my demented Republican godfather who's usually strapped. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Nova, I'm doing fine. Just chilling. Might bake some cookies and deal with the usual pettiness from my family and such. Nice, Nova. Uh, Magnus, thank you for the biddies. Um, five days a week, Magnus. Um, I take random days off. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 5.30 p.m. Pacific. Tuesday, Thursdays, 11.30 p.m. Pacific, Magnus. So you're catching Thursday's late show right now. But thank you for the biddies. And uh, yes, fuck Reagan. And I am in agreement. Um, except a dick of a step-grandfather who arguably murdered my grandmother. Jesus Christ, Rev. Oh... I've heard about a bunch of Nazis in Ukraine. What's up with that? That, um, there's always some, <clears throat> there's always some white supremacy. There's always some brand of white supremacy kicking around that part of the world, Lefty. Whether you're in Ukraine or whether you're in like the Czech, uh, Czech Republic, or whether you're in Sweden, whether you're like that part of the world's got a healthy dose of fucking, um, like white supremacy. Um, various brands of it, some Nordic brands like that Odin shit. Sometimes they get like the neo-Nazis. Sometimes they get just some white ethno status sort of territory. Um, but there's a, there's a solid, there's, they've got more than their fair share of it. Let's just put it that way. It goes back a ways. Uh, wobbles. My dad's a neolib. So we've been arguing about how Biden's ineffectiveness makes him equivalent Trump minus the annoying, entertaining tweets. Um, God, I got a sober argument with my libsock uh, do, uh, boomer father today over whether it's acceptable to criticize Biden. Uh, yes, of course it is. Uh, sister and her husband just got here from California to spend the holidays with our family. And the very day they did, dad chose to spend dinner starting arguments about how the Democrats are communists. Descriptivist. Sounds fun. Sounds fun. Um... Not look forward to another debate with my step grandpa. Since the last time we debated, it was a bunch of very clumsy attempts at gotchas that felt, oh, let's say, very Sargon of a cod uh, of a cod esque. Um, <laughs> I 
people a lot. How can they be white supremacists if they ain't even white? Um, right, all this East European with their stupid white supremacists. We're so much better than them, says, says the Albanian German. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> beast first. I meant first. Uh, my dad said today, if we keep bitching about Biden, Trump will get reelected next year somehow. I mean, pff, who knows? Um, can you talk about how the word white power automatically triggers racist overtones in our minds? Yet black power slips through the net. Uh, Bush, it doesn't in my mind. I don't know. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm an anarchist. If you, if you fucking, I don't care who you are. Like if I hear color plus power, the first thing I think is, oh, somebody's out of fucking pocket. Somebody's doing some shit. Yeah, I don't care. White nationalist, black nationalist. Fucking Hindu nationalist, fucking white power, black power, fucking Hispanic power. I, I don't fucking care. Like, the first thing I think is, oh shit, somebody's trying to do something. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I can't speak to the rest of society, but that shit does not happen in my head. Like, I am fucking... Caboose, I'm still suspicious. I'm still suspicious. Cause I've I've very rarely in my life seen um somebody who wants equivalent power. Right? Like it, it's never been like we want the same power as them. If you sit them down and get them talking, it gets sketchy real fast. I don't care what group we're talking about here. Like I, I, I it, it's always I when yeah, always freaks me out a little bit. Always freaks me out a little bit. You're right. You're right. We should never address any previous president's farm. Yeah. We should never address any previous previous presidents or anything that occurred during their administration. Hey, non-binary. Um, I, I agree wholeheartedly. And I expect that we won't hear from you about the Biden administration moment one the Biden administration stops. Right, like that, we won't we won't hear about anything Biden did out of your mouth the minute he's not president anymore. Right? You you're gonna be you're not gonna be a hypocrite in this regard, are you? And I'm sure you didn't bitch about Obama during the Trump administration, right? Homie, history defines us. The past creates the present. What, what weird, ignorant hellscape do you wish us to live in if that's your position? Oh, wait, hang on. You unironically are, are a fan of imperialist conquest. Never mind. You would, you would go full Orwell 1984 up in this bitch. And there was, oh, we've never been at war. Fucking Jesus Christ, people are just the, 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 <sighs> never ceases to amaze me how dumb some people are.
But Kai, he's been gone for a whole... Wait, it's not even been a full year yet? Holy shit. Right, Marcus? It's, yeah, I know, right, Viva? Um... Did y'all did y'all see about the 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 QAnon Wayfair tra sex trafficking fucking thing? Um, like there was there was an internet. Mo okay, here's here's a ter here's some terrifying numbers. Here's some terrifying numbers. All right, a bunch of fucking Facebook QAnon right wing Republican conservative uh, fucking idiots started uh wanting to rescue some girl right like they they were like holy shit this girl has gone missing we must rescue her instead what they did was terrify the ever loving fuck out of her derail real ch uh real child and sex trafficking investigations and incited save the children violence one girl an 18 year old went on Facebook Live to demand people stop saying that she was being sold in a cabinet. Yes, they were saying that this 18-year-old girl was being missing and being sold in a cabinet. She went on Facebook Live to say, hey guys, could you stop saying that I'm being sold in a cabinet, please? Commenters refused to listen said she was being forced to make the video and that she should be grateful people were trying to help her. And she, s <laughs> she said, you're mad because I'm telling you I'm not missing to 530,000 viewers of her live stream. One woman didn't like her tone and said, quote, put her ass back in the cabinet. All I'm saying, all I'm saying, let's just take the warning labels off stuff. Thank you, Klepto. Um, like, let's just take some warning labels off stuff. That's all. I, I really, I don't think we don't need to like, you know, let's just, just take a couple of warning labels here and there off of things. And I'm just saying, at least you're like grandkids. If you have kids, maybe they won't have to deal with us. It's fucking ridiculous. This is Thick Computer by Stream Radio. Literally, that's the artist, is Stream Radio. It's off the Black Album. It's called Thick Computer. Um... T-H-I-C-C. -C. Um, so. Yes, Kab Caboose got it right. Caboose spelled something correctly. I mean, it's an intentional misspelling. So, wait. Oh, shit. I feel like there's a paradox that's about to collapse the universe in on itself, Caboose. Um. Red, I know, right? I know. Jesus Christ. Apple, apple flavored horse paste. Still, I, I, this year, it, it tw <laughs> fuck, I messed with the fabric of the universe. Um, apple flavored horse paste. I, 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 2021, the year of apple flavored horse paste. I, Um, Y'all saw the um, the dumb twat um, Kim Potter got found guilty of a couple accounts of manslaughter. She she was the uh, the fucking genius Minnesota officer that mistook her uh, her pistol for her taser. Carpe, hey there, Carpe. How's your how's your, uh, how's your run up to the holidays? Ben Carpe. 
You got any insane family you're dealing with? Yes, yes, cupcake. Um, those were convictions. Yeah, she 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 was kicked off the force, and um, she was convicted of two counts, two counts of uh, manslaughter, I believe. Um, something like that. Second degree manslaughter, um, and first degree manslaughter. So she, yeah, yeah, yeah. First and first and second degree. She hasn't been sentenced yet. Um, the sentencing is going to take place. I don't know, sometime in the future. Somebody was cracking jokes even about how, like, watching the video of how insane the sentencing uh, scheduling was. Everybody's like, "Well, can you get this? How about next Thursday?" No, can't do next Thursday. It's fucking ridiculous. Um, first degree manslaughter while committing a misdemeanor, and first and se uh, one second degree manslaughter. Thank you, Marcus. Uh, dealt with my family at Thanksgiving. It went so well. I have no invites or prospects for Christmas. Woo! Carpe doing the Lord's work. Fucking Carpe putting in the work at Thanksgiving, so <laughs> they can get uh, they can get fucking Christmas cleared off. Yeah. Um. Good on you, Carpe. Fucking. <laughs> if I do this right, I won't have to hear from him for another year. <laughs> I'm about to do what you call what we call a pro gamer move. Uh. My favorite line from my sister was, do you want Republicans to win? Oh, Carpe. What was your response, Carpe? Because if you unironically just like look deadpander and said, yeah, I don't care. Something along that, it'd be great. Just like. Ah, that's the value of Thanksgiving. Not having to do Christmas. Exactly. Yogurt. What kind of yogurt? Buchler. What kind of yogurt? Uh, I kind of went off about how that question should be directed to the DNC, DCCC, uh, and party leadership. Fair enough. Carpe, fair enough. Well, you gotta you gotta hook me up, Buchler. What, what's the... But it's a good kind because I, I personally make, uh, I make, uh, <laughs> yogurt. Um, I make uh, coconut milk yogurt, uh, in house. Um, so, you know, that's, that's my go-to yogurt actually is, is coconut milk yogurt. Cause I don't really do a whole lot of dairy though. I do use, um, goat's milk whey protein, um, for, um, protein shakes. So. Yeah. You prefer cum? That's that's hot. Yeah. What's that taste like? Are there enough carbohydrates in cum for uh for like the lactobacillus to actually uh, cultivate? That would seem that would seem that um it wouldn't work. Hmm. Yeah, there's not enough carbohydrates in cum to make yogurt out of it, I don't believe. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's it, the 14 comes from the preventable uh, clean water, uh, vaccinable diseases, and uh, Mercy Corps statistics as far as um, numbers dying of hum hunger. Rough summations of preventable deaths per year on a global scale is about 14 million um, that literally just don't happen because of financial logistics. So there you go. Um, did I know that Gogurt is just yogurt? Interest. Um, <laughs> I heard that come also uh, could taste like warm, salty milk. Cannot confirm. It doesn't taste like warm, salty milk. In fact, 
it can have a very um, strange sort of like um, chlorinated water tone to it sometimes. It can get a little bleachy. Um, I can tell you that uh, pre-cum tastes better than cum. Yeah, pre-cum universally tastes better than, uh, than the actual final product. So, it does have a diverse taste. Um, depending on the diet of the individual can, uh, that you're, you're, you're partaking of, um, it, can, it can be sweeter, it can be... There isn't caboose, but there is a tone. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, it can be sweeter, it can be slightly saltier, it can be, like I said, that sort of bleachy um, territory. Uh, Kaiser, true! Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 got it's got a, a bit of a range to it. Um, you can even kind of get sweet with the right diet. Yeah. Yeah, generally, I find people who are actually secure in their sexuality, whether they be heterosexual, homosexual, or anywhere in between on the pan spectrum, um generally handle the conversation a lot better than what klepto is so all i'm saying is klepto might have some unresolved issues um i never tasted cum but you spit in facts bro <laughs> kanata uh i'm gonna like the conversation oh stretch the forearm stretch the forearm keep them keep them nice and loose especially after a workout oh Oh, I don't want, I don't want to taste cum, but I do want to know what cum tastes like. And I can have that experience vicariously through Kai. See, Caboose is just curious, which is curiosity is the hallmark of a great mind. Even if the topic makes you t uh, tentatively, attentively uncomfortable. Um, uh, you know, Walata, I don't know. Um, I have heard that a diet high in pineapple will uh, impact the the overall pleasant tones of semen. But I've never actually experimented with it to to an extent where I would know. So I can't I can't answer beyond that. But I have heard that I heard that about fruit in general. I, I've heard about pineapple repeatedly, like even like, and I've seen like enzymatic supplementation for the purposes of like, uh, like pineapple enzyme for the purposes of like if improving the flavor. But 85% of the chat could learn what it tastes like right now. They just need the balls to do it. This is Karina. Karina spitting facts. Uh, I mean, Che from anecdotal experience. Yeah. High fruit diet seems to make it sweeter. Um, I, again, klepto. No. I mean, that's just the way it's going to be, Zero. By a uh, uh, microbiome of an individual varies, you know, from person to person. It's individuated. Um, interesting fire. Latin guys in the South Florida area taste sweet, whereas other guys of other ethnicities tend to be more bitter down here. Um, and I cannot explain why. Spit or swallow or gargle, says Puka. Uh, swallow. Swallow. <laughs> Fucking red. Uh, why are you gay? I mean, klepto, I'm not looking to have a conversation, so it doesn't really matter. Um... Yeah, not regularly, Canada. Uh, 
But yeah, I have had goat. No, um, I like uh, back when I used to eat cheese and like drink milk proper. Um, goat's milk was my preferred. Um, so I like the products of goats. I like goat. Um, yeah. Yeah, exactly, Caboose, for the vitamins. I know, right? Descriptivist, imagine not having swallowed. Um, Jamaican dude. Blacks and Miles. Shit was all infused in news <laughs> comments. It's very interesting how that can happen. Interesting fire. Um... non-binary here um he, here's 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 the take i just moved us over to just chatting for this um here's the take ass to mouth yay or nay how good is your clean out game are you confident in it um me i have no problem i don't i don't mind Whip it out and put it in. I'm good. I'm confident in my game. So I don't have to worry about that. Zero's got a nay on that one. Correct 99% of people. Hell no. Hey, boss. I love you too, boss. How are, how are you? Are you dealing with any crazy family this, uh, this holiday, boss? Beast. Oh, I'm finally the one percent of something. Oh, Puka. Oh my God, Puka. No, no, no. Um, always prep. Fuck no, just the crazies who live with me. Fair enough, boss. That's fair enough. Um. Yeah, Nova. I mean, it exists for a reason. We're a bunch of fucking degenerates in this community. Yeah, um, I can tell you it is one of the tricks in the arsenal. Um, Let's just say the look or the general, the general experience that uh, I can give a top after they um, finish um, and I pop off of them and clean them off um, our various fluids uh, between the two of us. Um, Let's just say it's an, it, it it blows their mind. Yes, it's 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 a little bit of multi sensory overload, and I'm quite proud that my my clean out game is so on point that I'm comfortable just like that. <clears throat> nice, Karina. Good on you. One of the tricks. You a goddamn seal, man. I mean. <laughs> if you Marcus if you do it right uh uh Exol exclusively a bottom so flip that um and um I've had plenty of tops do that Exol plenty of tops have done that yeah <laughs> What's up, Ricky? Um, Axel, I'm not that flexible. You are gay. Why are you so gay? Axel, I'm a bottom. I'm the one getting fucked and come in. Right? So, see your initial question. I'm not the one who would be eating my ass. If that's your question. There'd be a top for that. 
There'd be somebody who's fucking me that would be doing that. Kvass, the closed ritualist is never getting a repeat performance. That's 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 never happening. Yeah, Karina. Mm. I'd wear a dog mask though. I'd wear like the puppy thing, but not cat ears. Um, yeah, uh, Karina. I, it, for for play, I'm I'm a I'm a dog, not a cat. Zero, you had to be here for it. It's it's a long story. The long story. It's just one of my hookups. Um, he was um he was a special he was a special guy. Let's just put it that way. I I have no take on deer other than they're they're tasty. I want kitty moshes to be a thing so I can go to them. Fair enough. Oh, that poor, oh, that guy, poor everyone involved. Um, yeah, he was, he was, he was an interesting dude. I, that's Caboose. That's what I, 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 that was my inference. That was, that was my inference on that one. It was just a mosh pit of kittens. Zero. I gotta tell you, I don't do a whole lot of buying pan dudes. I will tell you, um, Guys that either are bi to some degree or another or did the standard, like, I was with a woman and then I finally realized I was gay or I admitted it to myself finally and I came out. Dudes that have experience with women um, eat better ass on the gay side on average. It can be hit and miss, but there are some tricks that carry over that are useful. Um, I, I have found that. Um, beyond that, uh, the fucking is about the same. There's a negligible difference between them. Um, their dick game is usually inferior. Um... Their dick game is usually inferior. I'll tell you, they eat ass better, but they suck dick worse usually. Yeah, it's a bit of a trade-off of it in like skill set and experience level. Yeah. So. And then, thoughts on Catholicism? Fuck Catholics. Um... <laughs> no, Kanata, I don't have any hot takes on the siege of Sarajevo. Um, oh, zero. I don't. What, I mean, what do you want? Like, I'm a romantic. I don't date them. I, I. Yeah. No. Um. Yeah, like I don't, I don't, I don't date them. Suck my dick and get the fuck out. <laughs> Lick my ass, suck my dick, and get the fuck to the curb. Um, <laughs> yes. um, fire. Being gay myself, it's been an amazing experience with bi or straight guys eating ass. Okay, well, I. They're not straight. <laughs> <laughs> They're not straight. Um, uh, it, 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 uh, occasion experimentation and, uh, for the most part, they're not straight. They're they're somewhere on that that Kinsey scale. Um, that that's not a thing. <laughs> for the most part, I I, I will I, I will fall on that one. Um, 
fair enough, fire. Fair enough. I will defend Catholicism, says the lawyer. Looks at Catholic, uh, Catholic childhood. No, it's not sunk cost fallacy. Why do you ask? Um, <laughs> yeah, fire at No. Yeah, I was like, I'm straight. Sure you are. <laughs> uh-huh. I know you are, baby. Now get your get your tongue back in my ass. Um Fucking like <laughs> sure, sure. Whatever you gotta tell yourself. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, let's see. Eighteen bucks, no health insurance whatsoever, and three broken down. Four by fours, I'm stuck as fuck, says Rev. Sure, you guys are eating your ass. You're probably a woman. <laughs> uh, thoughts, thoughts, thoughts on Rudolf Swansky. Um, he's the oh, Czech, Czech communist. Yeah, he's the Czech communist, right? They put him on fucking trial. Either way, centralizing authoritarian communist uh, post USSR. Cringe. Fuck him. Um. opens closet door the fuck are all you straight guys doing in here um i'm straight neat dude ass all the time i dare you uh ricky 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 where are you no i'm <laughs> part of the country are you in ricky um why there's so many closeted people here um will Alexander. uh will Alexander, mexican evolutionary biologist carlos darwin um, Darwin says we all come from monks. This is the theory of apes. You got to be fit. And once you got the fitness, you can go to the next generation. This is what the monks did. And now we are humans. Theory of apes. Look it up. Will Alexander, thank you for the biddies. As always, thank you for the creative writing exercise. Um, I don't know what you celebrate. I don't really know anything about you, Will Alexander, because you don't share anything about yourself other than your brilliant creative writing projects. So if you do celebrate something, have a happy whatever you celebrate. Uh, if it's going to be nightmare fuel with your family, well, I hope you have a good joint and maybe a, a, a shot of something that'll get you through the day. Either way, thanks again, at Will Alexander. What's up, Pastique? Oh, hi, Pastique. Um, I'm not doing anything, Pastique. You went on the air? <laughs> Kaiser, please have my babies. Are you a... I feel weird asking this. Kaiser, are you a... Sw are, are, you a are you a Switch? You give me... You, you, you confuse me sometimes, Kaiser, with the, the like the the schoolgirl maid outfits, and then the like. There's there's some. I never I never had I've never had a read on you, Kaiser. Uh, Ricky, thank you for the follow. Uh, Puka, thank you for the biddies. Sleep well. Good luck. Um. What is this? Donald Duck. This is by far the most awesome thing in Christmas. This is my favorite, my number one 
nothing beats this. So when I got here, I asked all my classmates, what do you do on Christmas? And they told me all the traditions, the things they did, and they all had one thing in common. If you ask any Swede what you do on Christmas Eve at 3 p.m., they will tell you the same thing. You sit down and watch Donald Duck. That's right, Donald Duck, why? I have no idea, but this is a tradition in here. The, the world stops for Donald Duck in here. So everyone stops what they're doing. They get together, they turn on the TV, and they- I'm with you, Caboose. I'm with you. We'll watch Donald Duck for one hour. This tradition comes from a few generations ago, when Christmas Day was the only day of the year when you could watch cartoons on TV for one full hour. I mean, I love Donald Duck as much as the next guy, but this thing is awesome, the love that they have for this. Donald Duck is Christmas and all the cartoons that they have on it. They just sit down and watch some old Christmas cartoons, and I think that's awesome, and I can't wait to do it myself. So remember, if you're spending Christmas Eve in Sweden, Donald Duck, 3 p.m. on TV. Stop whatever you're doing and watch this with all your friends. Yeah, Pestic, we've talked about the, the Japan KFC thing a couple few times recently. Um... This seems copy pasta, not creative writing exercise. Zero. Hi. Um. Oh. What's up, Pestique? Uh, give me a sec here. Um. Let's see. Uh, Italy. Uh, Italy. What? Yeah, yeah. The trading places thing in Italy, and let's see. Um. Polished himself so much he accidentally threw himself in the uncanny valley. Says Marcus. Um. What's up, Gemma? Oh, uh, thank you as well. Um, and to you as well, Gemma. Jesus Christ, you're still going zero. Um, all right. Anyway, so pastique. Yeah. See, zero. Will Xander's isn't copy pasta. It reads like copy pasta. It's not copy pasta. Will Xander writes those. Like those are Will Xander's. Um, he does like weird creative writing exercises and then goes around and spreads them around. Um, so that's, that's, yeah, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of copy pasta, but Will Xander is like, they're kind of bespoke. So, um, all right, Pestique, what's up? Yeah. Like, uh, oh, I was telling you that, uh, in that co-op, uh, or that, uh, I am right now, uh, we try to, uh, find ways to, uh, to get back with the principles that created the co-op in the first place. Mm -hmm. And uh, that we end up with that uh, professionalism uh, phase uh, mm -hmm. of the co-op where some people who took some uh, places of value, let's say it like that, um, are actually try to t take more powers than they should. Oh, and today they were a twist. Uh, a twist. Like uh, we try to implement a text on the principles in order to get every one back on board with what we are doing. Uh, you know, like uh, a way to to uh, restart on a good basis. So we wanted to have everybody get uh, on board with it. So we want to have like the most democratic uh, process. Uh, you can never imagine, you know, like uh, you pass in all the commissions, you get the text, you get everybody involved and things like that. And like when I start uh, having uh, things uh, going on, like we fit a schedule and everything, suddenly we have two interns that uh, came with like, oh, we write the text on all the principles that we should have. So now you can use that uh, text. You don't have to do that whole process things. And the worst part is like, I don't think they realize what they are doing. They, you, you know, <laughs> they basically try to uh, yeah. don't to uh, bypass a democratic process. That's and don't don't worry about that whole like everybody <laughs> deciding how we're going to lay this out. We did it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You 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 just do it uh, do, despite do, them. That's that's, did, that's just infuriating. Did they know what they were doing, or was this just sheer like I'm trying to help? I don't know. I don't know if they were like trying to help. I, I want to give them the benefit of the doubt because they are not the more most problem the more problematic ones usually. Even if uh, twice one of them, which is quite young, she's like uh, twenty three or something like that, and 
I know how I was when I was 23. Like, uh, I was in the student unions and uh, I did mistakes. Like, uh, <laughs> like, if I was coming back with the knowledge I have right now about how to deal with uh, political things, how to deal with democracy and stuff like that, I would probably uh, make different choices at different moments. But that would give me also a different narrative of who I am right now. So. Ah, yeah. Exactly. So yeah. I want I want to give her uh, the benefit of the doubt, but at the same time, I'm pretty sure that they receive like these uh, injunctions from someone else because oh. they're interns too. Yes. Yeah, so somebody fucking <laughs> told them to do this task. Oh, kind of, and be like, oh yeah, that would be nice if you can do it. Uh, that will help uh, uh, those uh, like the people, the members of the cop, the cop who seems to struggle with uh, some stuff because you know we are like kids when you're like cop members. Yeah. And so, don't realizing it's infantilizing, it's bypassing uh, all the things that I, they did. And on top of that, they were not even at the meeting. Normally, the first things you do is like, hey, do you? You ask, you know, <laughs> you ask people when you know that there is something uh, uh, doing that just, yeah. Interesting. Anyway, that's, right. that's another thing that got me upset yesterday. And yeah. so that's, that's, that's rectifiable though. That's, that's, you can, you can fix that one pretty easily. Yeah. Yeah. But the problem is like people tend to see the person that denounced something in that cop because, you know, everybody needs to be benevolent with it, each other's to hack like everybody is supposed to be kind and we all love each other's. We danced around the fire and saying kumbaya, not realizing that uh, that's not what democracy is all about. Democracy is trying to find a peaceful resolution of problem by trying to reach a consensus through discussions, you know? And if you uh, try to be like, oh, we don't discuss because we might say some words to each other's, there's no more democracy anymore. This, and so, this is this is why this is why anybody under the age of twenty five is not to be considered an adult, <laughs> and we should not let children have this discussion. Um, uh, I, I, I I hardly disagree on that, but uh, that's a discussion for another time. <laughs> we can have a. I know, like there is like this uh, things saying that. Uh, <sighs> Your brain is fully developed when you're 25 well, because it, it, of prefrontal it, it, cortex. I think it's a fallacy it, argument. Uh, it's like, 20, uh, 25 to 30. is, is it's, yeah. it's starting to wrap up by 25, and then you start to actually fix your your dumbassery, but usually by the age of 30, you, you get your shit sorted. Um, yeah, yeah, because you start to have more experience in those kind of things. But at the same time, uh, do we want a, a society that uh, tells... A huge chunk of the populations, probably like around 30 40 percent, that they should not uh, have any right uh, to say anything on a society. And on top of that, if you uh, as long say as that for the young people, you should probably say the same thing for the old people. Oh, no, I'm okay. I'm, I'll bite that bullet. I'll bite that bullet. I'll bite that bullet. Yeah, I, I'm yeah. pretty sure you have no problem with uh, yeah. getting uh, all like. I love my dad, but uh, sometimes if he was not voting, that would be a good thing. <laughs> yeah, and he vote communist. I mean, that's not for for that reason. Fair enough. <laughs> Debating with him is just a pain in the ass. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, yeah, no, I'll, I'll I'll bite that bullet. Like, dude, I'm I'm from a country where all our the, like the average age of the politicians is like a thousand. Like, I I I'm I'm comfortable just biting that bullet and being like, you know what? Yeah, you shouldn't be running shit if you're over the age of seventy five. You really shouldn't. Cognitive decline is a thing. Cultural norms are a thing. Technological development is a thing. Social development and progress uh, progression in society is a thing. Like, it, yeah. When I'm fight, if I made it to eighty five, for the love of God, do not put me in charge of the country. What the fuck is wrong with you people? <laughs> right? Like, yeah. No, I'm a hundred percent okay with that. Like, there is a sweet. There's a sweet spot. You mean window. like if you use the word malarkey in sentences, you should not be uh, at the head of a country? Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Fucking, I, I, I'm, a, I'm comfortable with that. Like, I, I'm enough of a realist. Sure, I'm an anarchist and yeah, yeah, equality and equity for all. But I'm also a fucking realist, right? Like, there's, there's just truths of existence and reality at this point, right? Like, I'm sorry, your brain is not finished developing. You're not even a fully hum a fully formed human being yet. Like, and you, Jesus Christ, like, <laughs> you still think it's 1972. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, uh, 
So why do I disagree on that? I don't think you need a fully developed brain to uh, understand society. I more leaning towards like uh, people should have uh, at least common knowledge about how society works before having uh, the possibility to vote, which is also another problem I... because it's through some uh, uh, barriers you need to pass uh, for for voting. So at the end of the day, you all will. Uh, I will probably put some people I... out of the voting system too. Look, so... I, look, I, I'll compromise. You can have the young ones in if we can kick the old ones out. <laughs> that's, but you see, I'll like that discussion will be all. Uh, 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 we will all have to find a compromise. That's what I'll meet you, uh, I'll meet you democracy halfway. is all about. I, I'll meet you halfway. I want to get rid of the youngins and the oldins, but I'll meet you halfway and just get rid of the old ones. <laughs> I, I, I know some twelve-year-olds that know more about politics than some fifteen, uh, fifty-year-olds. So. Exactly. So fucking, you know, like I'm, all, I'm, I see, I'm, I'm a man of the people. I'm willing to compromise as long as it just means the next president of the United States isn't going to be ninety-three years old, right? Like that's that's all I'm really looking for here is if somebody, like for somebody who I don't have to listen to describe the internet as a series of tubes and shit like that, right? Like I'm good. Yeah. I don't want to derate too much on the technical detail about how democracy works, but at the same time, so when you have 40-year-old uh, presidents like we do have in France, I'm not sure he's better than Biden, honestly. No, he is. He is. Oh, he's not. No, no, you, 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 you don't. Because in the US, you tend to see Macron for the things he says on TV, not for the things he does in the text that goes in the parliament and things like that, because it's too complicated. And Macron is like uh, a bullshitter, uh, like the first bullshitter that you have ever seen. Like he will tell the same, the two different things, one hour apart from each other's, just because he's on two different TV channels. Yeah. Like uh, during uh, like this election, he was talking about uh, immigration being bad at 9 a.m. Uh, on a right-wing uh, radio show, and half an hour later, he went to uh, a a place called Burr FM, which is like Arabic uh, Muslim uh, types of uh, radio to say like, yeah, I think immigration is a chance for, for the country. So Biden you does, see like the polar opposites. Biden does and, that shit all the time, my man. He does it all the yeah, time. So like, he's I, no better. He's, he's the same. Yeah. And the, the thing is like Biden will not necessarily worsen the capitalistic systems that you have in the US. He will just uh, continue with the status quo, uh, pretending that he's not doing so. Uh, Macron will uh, just worsen our, uh, our social contract that we have in France. Therefore, it's more damageable to the systems we're living than uh, Biden is for Americans, in my opinion. Yeah, but Macron in the U.S. would be much like, further left than Biden is. And he's not even left. <laughs> like... That's that's kind of my issue here is that if we dropped Biden into your system. It, you it, would do the same thing as Macron. Exactly. It would implode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, fuck uh, it. I'm not sure about that. We also have lobbying and these kind of things like uh, France is not that good on corruption. Have you heard about the Balkanese? <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure you don't have mm. any clue about who they are. No. But they are hilarious. No, but <laughs> I, I can tell you that you probably didn't turn corporations into people and money into speech. So come talk to an American about corruption. Ah, uh, yeah, that's kind of true. <laughs> like you have this kind of like uh, uh, corruption has been legalized through lobbying. And uh, <laughs> yeah. we, we, yeah. we, we, we turned, we took corruption into the professional league. Like we're like, you know what? We can move this up to the majors. Um, so like, yeah, but, um, is there anything else? Like, was that the only thing with the co-op that, uh, you guys are having to deal with? Like, what, what are you going to do to address that? Do you know? Oh, um, I basically, uh, shit in the punch bowl in the middle of the room or <laughs> something like that. Sex and, uh, sexy. I I'm here for people it. To, uh, to figure out how to clean the mess. And uh, it seems that it's going, I mean, that's generally what you do. You know, you denounce uh, something that is ma made, you tell everybody like, yeah, that's fucking wrong. And then people will be like, hey, try to uh, to uh, be polite and these kind of things. And some people will be like, yeah, but it's stating something that is obviously wrong. And so I let someone take uh, my defense on my behalf. 
luckily I have some people who decide to uh, to uh, take my site, so it will kind of uh, help because you know, like the guy who denounce receive all the aggro kind of, yeah, and the uh, people who try to settle things say, yeah, but he has reasons to be angry, uh, tends to uh, get things better, but. At the same time, it is a frustrating uh, way to uh, deal with stuff, you know, because like the persons that uh, will have to, like the whistleblower basically uh, take the crap for all the others. And you have a, a long history in the US with whistleblowers. And uh, mm. let's say we don't encourage whistleblowing <laughs> in many societies. Yeah. So that's another problem. We, uh, yeah, we. <clears throat> We of course, I'm not Julian Assange. Uh, we, we, <laughs> tend, we tend to treat them very well. Scale. Um, yeah, and Viva, like I put it in chat, Viva, but we already do that. <laughs> Lobbyists already write our laws. We just copy them one-to-one. -one. We've even caught politicians uh, submitting uh, legislation that still had the notes from the lobbyists to like remove this passage sort of thing, right, from the lobbyists. Um, yeah. Yeah, we've caught them doing that. Like that's... Straight up, we we already do that. <laughs> we let the lobbyists literally yeah. write the law. I mean, lo lobbyists then, um, if they want to see a law pass, they just first write what they want and just give it to every uh, uh, deputies, member of the Senate, for and with some benefits on the sides. So you have the same problems occurring in the EU. Uh, in there is a, a lot of example of that. Uh, in France, it's kind of supposed to be uh, regulated, but at the same time, we know it's kind of not. It's just, it's always find, uh, you know, like in Jurassic Park, that life always find its way. Corrupt. Lobbyists always find their way. Yeah. Cor corruption, it'll find a way. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh... So, well, yeah. Uh, oh, um, non-binary. Is it is it reschedule? Like, is it scheduled again? Like, I, I saw it's been rescheduled a bunch of times, but um, weather caught it the last time. Is what time today? Non-binary. Do you know? Um, James Webb Telescope for those that are just on audio only, or you're not looking at chat. Um, would you talk to the 25 year old person to warn her what's going to happen and tell her why it's wrong so it gets less messy than this is more of a teaching moment or is this not a smart thing to do? Uh, 1300 GMT. Okay, thank you, non binary. Um, oh. Oh. <laughs> Viva, at least we're not French. <laughs> oh, the, the 25 year old the person that uh, made the mistakes, there were two. One of them as a master uh, about uh, governance. So, I mean, that's sort at of... that the, at that moment you should know about those things. <laughs> so I don't have to be. Uh, I I would be that I'd, nice. About I'd it. be a, yeah. I'd be a dick about it. I'd be. I'd take that fucking paper out of their hand. Look look at it. Realize what they did. Look at them. Go congratulations. You just undermined democracy. How's that feel? <laughs> yeah. Like that's and, uh, you just subverted the democratic. You just sur uh, attempted to subvert the democratic process. <laughs> 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 like good job good job but i i'm more interested I mean, in who tasked them with that and what the intention I mean, the, there was the consequences for that will just be her uh being scolded basically so i will not put her in jail i will not uh, she will not have uh, any other consequences that me telling her that she did uh, yeah. a, a mess you just so, you, she just yeah, needs to be told I will go what's hard up on that. yeah like just a quick reality check um yeah yeah, I'm 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 more interested in who told the interns to do that and what wh where that goes. Oh, there are several possibilities. Uh, maybe it's just you know you always find a, when someone is nice because they are a nice girl. Uh, so I don't want to be uh, really bitchy about it, but I tend to think that there is someone else responsible. There are some uh, so several people that could be responsible for that. But it's also possible that they just took the decisions without realizing the, what they were doing. So. The, the German in chat says, wrong approach, straight to jail is the way. Um, <laughs> okay, oh, Viva. I know, right, Zero? At least they have a democratic process to subvert. <laughs> you, you, um, you know, the season's upon us, and we all have a, a, a Christmas dinner where we will talk about politics. And uh, I have an aunt who will do uh, something really crazy with that. She will put her on a boat, 
uh, way at sea, way at large in the sea and uh, <laughs> sink it. <laughs> That's how. The, so I will have some tanky uh, takes uh, in my family uh, tonight. That would be uh, some stuff like that. So, you know, we all have our different approach uh, to, to do things. Viva, I don't disagree. <laughs> Viva said the French person saying they're good girls just sounds wrong. <laughs> in that accent, it's a little creepy. Um, it's like a German accent saying I have a solution. Right? You're just like, mm. <laughs> um, oh, there, there is like a, a good example of that situation. Uh, on TV during the World Cup in 2006, uh, one of the commentators during a Ghana Germany uh, game say, uh, said something like about the final solution uh, in his comment. Yeah, and I, that, I can see it coming. without realizing that he, what, what he was doing there. Yeah. If he wins, if he and, if he makes that goal, this is the final solution. To, it's like ah, 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 yeah. It was like uh, there's always a Ghanaian feed that. Uh, um, stop uh, Germany to find the final f solution or something like that. Yeah. That was just bad. <laughs> yeah. Viva said, damn, that actually made me laugh. Um, can, <laughs> um, or, or a Canadian saying they won't genocide the natives. I mean, look, right. W w what, what are you going to do? You're going to oppress those poor Canadians and take away their traditions. That is, you are stripping them of their culture in Canada. It is their way of life to genocide natives, right? Like, how? who are you to tell the Canadians that they cannot do, uh, partake in their ancestral heritage and their traditions? That I'm, is- I'm pretty sure that- Pretty sure there's Canadians that jokes about the fact. Come on, the Inuits are living in a place where nobody should live. They're just asking for it. All these kind of things. Yeah, that would be terrible. Uh, <laughs> Craig's got a tough crowd tonight. Um, <laughs> right? I mean, it's our tradition. Um, well, I'm sorry, I'm making bad jokes. Uh, but um, yeah, I was wondering, like you, you do Christmas to a uh, Kai, or like you know, with your families and things like that, mm -hmm. or you cut the bridges with them or something. No, no, no. Yeah, um, fucking my mom, stepdad, and I will do Christmas Eve. Like that's uh, that we'll do tonight. Like late night, we'll do present opening, and then we'll basically um, ignore each other for uh, Christmas. The rest of the year. Yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much, that is the tradition, as it will, uh, as it were. That's probably why we have so much food on the table on Christmas in France. Like this, we can uh, at least have something on the table without uh, looking to each other while we feast for four hours. Uh, yeah, I mean the French. The French, I, I, I appreciate how you guys sort of like the meal time has sort of a sacred air to it. Like you guys treat f eating as something differently than most Americans treat it. Yeah, like uh, the meal for Christmas is a five hour meal. Uh, it's like a slightly longer than the Thanksgiving that you have in the, in the US. I remember when my uh, ex wives were coming. Came once with our parents uh, to, to do Christmas uh, at my parents' place, and uh, we start with the appetizers, and they couldn't eat anymore. <laughs> and they were like, "Oh, we're stuffed. What should we do?" You're like and me. they saw that every dish we brought them to you, they have to eat everything and finish their plates. Yes. And uh, of course, we finish your plates, but you let some on the dish. <laughs> to... <laughs> you're like, "You're in so trouble. That... We got five more courses." <laughs> Yeah, and on, the, on top of that, they couldn't speak uh, French, and my parents don't speak English, so communication was kind of complicated, and you know, they want to seem nice and things like that. They had uh, kind of a nice but horrible moment uh, <laughs> on that Christmas party. <laughs> um, oh, come. How, how... Here comes the oysters. We're already stuffed. <laughs> um, descri descri oh, oysters on Christmas, based. Um, descriptivist. Um, yeah. Uh, I do, what what anime is it from? What 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 is it? What's your favorite anime? What does that line remind you of? Um, but yeah, I, I assure you, it wasn't inspired by anything other than my own ramblings and thoughts on things. Um, and Viva said, uh, "Wait, what? Your ex wives?" That's the most French sentence I've I uh, I guess. Um, wait, do you have more than one ex wife? And were you you like still have meals with them? Something, something, balls, Rev. 
Uh, Pastique's dead. Pastique dead. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm still here. Uh, okay. I was uh, responding uh, to the chat like... Uh, um, yeah, Vivas uh, was saying that uh, the sun's never sets on uh, on the British Empire, and I just answered that you know in the French country the sun is still never setting. <laughs> we still have uh, places yeah, you, all around the you've world. You've got a few colonies makes, across the ocean, yeah, which makes uh, France like the first or second biggest. Uh, uh, sea uh, territories uh, owners. I was just uh, say you've got world. you guys still have some in like the South Pacific too, right? Like you got something yeah. down there, yeah. Like the longest border uh, from France is actually with Brazil. Yeah, because so, yeah, um, yeah, yeah French Guiana. Yeah, and it's a border that is heavily uh, defended because um, lots of people try to get uh, gold from um, the for from the Amazonian forest yep. in the French territories. And you guys still have a couple. Of, like, do you guys still have an island or two in the Caribbean as well? Yes, yes, yes. Um, uh, we have three of the, three or four of them. Yes, yeah. four of them. There is like uh, Guadeloupe, Martinique, Marie-Galant, and Saint Martin. Okay. Uh, generally, Marie-Galant and Saint Martins are not really counted because they have like a weird, uh, uh, weird uh, systems. It kind of uh, belongs to two countries uh, for Saint Martin, but um, yeah, it's still a French uh, territory. Fair enough. Actually, actually, Macron uh, made a mistake once. He thought Guyana was an island. So, you're the president, you don't even know what the territories are in your countries. That's dumb. Look, look, Trump thought fucking Puerto Rico was another country. So, yeah, but nobody said that uh, Trump was smart all around the world. There's only Americans. I was going to say, hang on, hang on. Fucking like 48 million people in this country were convinced that he was a goddamn walking certified genius. So... Yeah, only in America. (laughs) Scarily enough, no. That's the terrifying part. I wish that that was constrained to America. Yeah, but I know you. I know you're right. I oh, know you're. Oh, that's right. terrifying. <laughs> like there was an uncomfortable amount of like Brits and Canadians and even like Filipinos and shit were on that train. It was like, ugh. yeah, yeah. I, I've seen a guy reading a, a book, a, a pro-Trump book, in uh, the subway in Hong Kong. So yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Viva said, can we liberate those places? I mean, it's a crime to live under the French. (laughs) Fucking Germans still looking to take land from you guys. (laughs) Uh, Some of them uh, are asking for a bigger degree of autonomy. uh, And some of them already have uh, um, quite autonomous regions. um, Like, uh, for example, Numia uh, in New Caledonia next to to Australia uh, as quite a lot of uh, leverage on how they govern themselves. And some others decided to go the other way and become like full regions. And uh, that's how we kind of uh, settle out of uh, colonialism for those regions. But it's still something in debates in the the populations. And uh, recently in uh, Guadeloupe, one of the Caribbean islands, there were uh, big riots, strikes and everything to... to, um, basically you have a better uh, contract with uh, the metropole. Fair no, enough. Fuck, it's just not the right word for the, like the, the motherland. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Um, the fatherland. Um, uh, and uh, well, lot of, yes, that is a cursed thought. And GL, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, only a genius could come up with the idea of nuking a hurricane, clearly. God, he was so fucking dumb. Oh. Ah, you know, in Texas, there were some people who were shouting at the at the storm when uh, storm occurs. So, mm-hmm. oh yeah, no, we we've got Meh. fucking. Uh, it, it's a it's an interesting um, fucking rep. Okay, rep. That's sarcasm. <laughs> All right, I was about to find it was like no Guadalupe. It's a it's an archipelago. Um, fucking part of the. Um, is it part of the Antilles? Caribbean. Is it part of the Antilles or lesser Antilles? I always, I always forget where it's they part are. of the Antilles. Okay. Uh, it is a, a quite big uh, place. I think there is like almost a million uh, inhabitants, something like that, uh, in that pla- in that uh, island. So it's not just nothing. Yeah, it's it's like what 10, 12 islands or some shit in Guadeloupe, something like that. They got a bunch. Uh, of- it's 
like former African colonies we uh, are not uh, paying uh, taxes to France, but France still have some uh, money control about uh, like all the monetary monetary systems of a lot of French former colonies are still uh, decided by France rather than by the country, which and. On top of that, like uh, you have like that big company from uh, Bolloré who tend to uh, control the economy there. So yeah, it's fucked up. <laughs> um, but you're you're referring to Haiti. Haiti had to pay uh, for 150 years uh, was, debt was, to France. It was so fucked. <laughs> it was, that was dude. Humanity has a bunch. Like we we've got a long list, like a giant tome of fucked up shit we've done as a species. But the repayment to France from Haiti is one of those moments that's like, holy shit. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a very fucked up uh, situation. <laughs> like, that's some, they, they, that's some hardcore colonialism. <laughs> And, and and they took the money to the to last uh, penny, you know. So yeah, that's that's terrible. Yeah, and, they're like, oh no, we want our money. <laughs> I, I I think Asian revolution should be learned in every storybooks all around the world. That's a uh, that's a really important part of history that tends to be uh, under the radar for for lots of people. Oh. Yeah, some Larry Elder level thinking, dude. The hate the Haitian repayment to France was just one of those moments that you just have to sit back and go, God damn, that's some white people shit. If there ever was, <laughs> oh, uh, Viva! I know my anti-French talking points. Imagine that. Imagine the German knowing uh, being solid in anti-French talking points. Who would have guessed? I bet fucking. It's like Britain. It's like Britain in France. Oh, <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. wait. Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I don't know which rivalry is the is the worst between uh, France and the British or France and uh, and Germany. That's I. I, 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 I you know, I think it's, it's with the Brits. Yeah, I, I, I think, like, there's more history there with the like the British France thing. Like, they're just dude. They just want to fuck. They just want to fuck like that's that's got they've got that energy that like just two countries that just like need to hate fuck. That's that's all they're there. It's just they get drunk one weekend. They go out. They get a kebab. They start hating themselves. They die. They dial up their fucking ex over in Fr uh, France and they're like, fuck you, bitch. You want to suck my dick? Right. Like it, it's it just. Yeah, they've got that. They've got that ex lover energy. Yeah, like during, I think it was during the Opium War, like in one part of the world, France was uh, siding with the British, while on the other part, they were like uh, killing each other. So, meh. Z zero? <laughs> yeah, that. Zero? Watch this. I, I've got a Frenchman on the line right now, right? Kai, is everything sex to you? Everything is sex. Sex is everything. Right? Like food is sex. Driving is sex. Like exploration is sex. Everything is sex. Like what? What part of human history haven't you noticed yet? <laughs> like yeah, if you can make everything a kink, everything is sex. Yeah, and you know what? Everything is political too. Yep, sex is very political. It's it's yeah. yeah it's it's just the way it is. Sex is politics. Politics is everything. <laughs> Fucking, <laughs> it's, it's the way it works. Sorry, zero. I don't. I don't like, write the history books. Uh, there is that guy in my hometown who were part of the Green Party. Was a, a city uh, councillor, and uh, he was very hard on uh, Muslims. And so people find that odd because generally in the Green Party, you know, you're quite welcoming. You want to everybody uh, live together on the earth, and uh, yeah. So people found that odd, and uh, like two years later, we realized that he had like uh, a lots of. Uh, repressed uh, stuff about Arab uh, big pornography and things like that on his uh, computer. Of course. And, uh... <laughs> of course. That's that's the way it works. You show me somebody who's like yelling about some shit like that and I'll no, show you somebody who's wanking to it for sure. Um, who was that fucking... Who, who, I forget which country he was from. It's one of those European... East, like Eastern Austria, Euro probably. No, no, no. One of those Eastern European nations that the like they've got like constitutional mandates against promoting like homosexuality and shit like that. And they caught the dude at like a gay orgy. Yeah, that's, that's Austria. Uh, oh, well, Austria, like, sorry. Uh, yeah. Like, 
there is three leaders in Austria that uh, were ha very hard on homophobia, very uh, alt-right types kind of guy, and who uh, were in orgies, uh, had a boyfriend, and this kind of things. But and they were like a prime minister. They were two deputies. Yeah, fucked up. Um. Thank not you. not the part that uh, where they uh, go on board with boys. The, the part where they yeah. <laughs> are homophobic. <laughs> Thank you for the su a resub, Zippy, uh, and the Daddy Bezos bucks at that. Um, yeah, it's that's that's classic. Like we've learned that lesson a long time ago in the U.S. Fucking, you catch some conservative yelling about fucking the queers and shit like that, and it's like, oh, he's steady banging rent boys on the weekend. Don't worry about it. We'll find out about it here in a couple of months. Um. You know, it, it vehemently anti-gay pastors are just, you know, like, who is it? Um, Ted Haggart? Was it Ted Haggart that was doing steady doing crystal meth and banging rent boys in a cheap motel? Meanwhile, on the weekend, uh, on the Sundays, he's like yelling about fucking the queers, ruining the country and shit like that. It's like, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that was Haggard. Yeah. That's, it's standard policy. You show me somebody yelling about like, it's fine. Yeah, uh, like, um... There is a disproportionate amount of, uh, per, ca per capita, there is a disproportionate amount of interracial pornography viewed and purchased in the, uh, in the southern states of the U.S. Right? Like, that's, yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> that's, that's just how that works. Um, oh, the politician thing was hungry. Thank you, Viva. Yeah. He, okay. Yeah. I, that, sounds, that sounds more familiar the the hungarian it was like 25 or 26 du naked dudes in a fucking hotel room or some shit and he uh he de yeah, with cocaine in he, belgium yeah he he defenestrated himself out the fucking window like dude just goes diving out the fucking window trying to get away from the cops who raided the orgy yeah okay i will have to let you alone there is the phone uh, calling yep all right pastique thanks for thanks for bye. sharing bye um he was hungry and thirsty. Um, that's fair. I totally Google white boy heaven occasionally, says Rev. Um, let me keep some music off here in the background. I'm not having a conversation. What is repressed will always be expressed. People find um, taboos are attractive. Taboos are attractive. Let's just put it that way. Oh... Nightwolf, are you not familiar with this story? It made the rounds on a global scale. So, uh, some Eastern European fucking uh, gay orgy that was occurring. And there was a, a Hungarian, a rabidly anti-LGBT Hungarian politician that literally tossed himself out the fucking window to try and get away from the rosers from the cops um, that were trying to break it up due to like a noise complaint. And um, yeah. Because of course there was. Because of course there was. That was a fucking paragraph. Not socialist anarchist. Um, and and the fact that you have Anarchitty um, as a as a username makes me suspicious. Just right out of the gate. Um, let's see. I'm going to take it as in good faith and actually answer some of the question. Uh, as an anarchist, we believe in um, basically subversive dual power structures and grassroots organizing. Um, so we operate at the community level. We don't operate at a national party level. Basically, most anarchists already believe the federal, uh, the parties and the federal policy, uh, the federal mechanism is a lost cause. There's no hope there. Um, so like we don't engage at that level. What the fuck's a middle class? <laughs> uh, wait, hang on. Wolata, if society tells you you can't sleep with guys and don't want to sleep with women, you choose a job that makes it logical? Logical that, uh, wait, logical. That makes it... Uh, Logical that has no sex. Source my dad. His uh, source his uh, time he went to college to become a pastor. 
Logical. Okay. That makes it logical that has no sex. All right. So, fair enough. Um... Move to Mexico and learn to donkey. Um, rev. Um, right, zero. It's like fucking local. Uh, I mean, Zippy, who amongst us hasn't at least looked? I mean, look, it's like a car wreck. Um, it's like a car wreck, Zippy, right? Like a fucking donkey show is straight up like a car wreck. Something getting smashed for sure. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to be there every fucking weekend, but caboose, they used to be not so much anymore, but in certain parts you can still, mm, yeah. Um, once upon a time, though, yeah, it was real easy. Um, uh, Zippy, no. It's not a euphemism. A donkey show is not a euphemism. <laughs> There's no... It, it, it... it it's right there in the name. <laughs> it's, uh, um, Viva, what is it? Um, <laughs> car wreck or train wreck if there's multiples. Viva, once upon a time in a land far, far away in an age long forgotten, Americans would, um, drunk, degenerate Americans uh, would uh, transit the southern border from San Diego into Tijuana, Mexico. And in Tijuana, Mexico, there was, um, in the seedier parts of Tijuana, right? In the seedier parts of Tijuana, there were um, shows, there were entertainment venues, there were bars um, that one could um, avail themselves of a particular form of um, demonstration of a sexual act, uh, not necessarily between two humans, um, but of one human and another, uh, quadrupedal mammal, um, that would be in the title of the act. Um, and you could, uh, bear witness to the event. Um, so there you go. Um, there are pictures. <laughs> there are. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, yeah. So there you go. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's it, it it it's not so much a thing much anymore. But once upon a time, it was most assuredly a thing. Yeah. And this is how you get Mr. Hands. And lucky I don't know more than the vague story was good at avoiding some parts of the internet. Uh, thank you, Beast. Thanks, PETA. Um, <laughs> well, Lada, I've, I've seen the video. I've seen the video. I've seen it. I've seen it. <laughs> I mean, how would you not? How could you not? How could you not? <laughs> Um, a lot of many people did, yes. Um, uh, oh, Caboose. <laughs> the Christmas song, Dominic the Donkey, just came on the radio. Um, <laughs> oof. Uh, you know, things are going bad direction when Mr. Hands enters. Mr. Hands has entered the chat. Um, uh, 
R.I.P. Rugrats in Paris, Mr. Hands. Hey, you know what? Oof. There it is. Um. He was the one taking the dick. This is sort of my line on it. Basically, this is where I draw my moralism on it. Um, like this is my ethical boundary. Like, if you're if you're like penetrating like a female donkey or like you know a fucking uh, a horse or something or a cow or some shit like that or a goat or a sheep looking at you whales, um, no consent, no consent, bad, bad, bad. If you want to risk taking a fucking horse dick and rupturing your intestines, that's on you. <laughs> that's quite the fucking line to walk in on. What's up, Echo Flex? <laughs> we have we have strayed far, far from the light. <laughs> How is your stream? <laughs> uh Just getting raided into horse dick. I mean, yeah, basically. <laughs> we, it was, reference was made to a donkey show. And multiple people did not know what, what a donkey show was. And so explanation of what a donkey show had to occur to some degree. Um, and then somebody mentioned Mr. Hands. And so it slid down there. For, for, it slid from there. Um... How was your how was your stream echo? How, what did you guys get up to? Um, did y'all have a good time? Look, zero. I will stop insulting the Welsh when they get a language that makes one goddamn lick of sense. Rex, Mr. Hands uh, was a uh, gentleman who recorded himself and released, and there were videos released to the internet of uh, receiving anal penetration from a um, a horse, a stud horse. Um, like, full on. Uh, one of the events caused intestinal rupt uh, rupture and hands died. Uh, so there you go, Rex. Oh, no. Aussies are way better than the Welsh. By miles. No, 100%. I'll tell you. What a way to go. Yeah, I know, right? Like, I mean... You heard about this on Joe Rogan, ironically. Uh, I heard about it because I saw the video back in the day. That shit made the rounds. <laughs> that shit made the rounds, and there's no way fucking... Um, red. Um, yeah, Caboose, same. Yeah, like, there's... Dude, that video made the rounds. Um, there were a few... In, there were a few events. He, um... Yeah, he didn't... He didn't die the first time he did it. Surprisingly enough. Um... Caboose, I... descriptivist. Caboose and I are like old school fucking internet nerds, right? Like you gotta understand that. Like Caboose and I both have seen some shit. Um, me even more so because I'm older than Caboose, uh, but not by much. Um, but yeah, like we were we were there for a lot of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, we were there for it. We were there for the pre-commercialization of the internet. We were there when it was a fucking wild west. It was... Jesus Christ, Red. I, it, Caboose, 100% mine as well. 100%. Golden age. Best time. Best time ever. Best time in the history of mankind. Yeah, best, best, absolute best time. Yeah, I, I miss those days.
Uh, could take us out of politics. I put us back in politics when we swayed back in room, but we could. We definitely probably should have gone back and just chatting for a majority of that one. The good old Bush years, Jesus Christ. That's that's how you know. Um, that's how you know Trump fucked up so epically. Is when Bush Jr. had his re his reputation redeemed. That's that's how you know you fucked up. Um. Yeah, when when society starts like reminiscing about Bush Jr. and be like, ah, eh, well, you know, at least he wasn't Donald Trump. Fucking dude, that's that's how you know you fucked up because Bush Jr. was holy fuck. That was a nightmare of a presidency. He could. And you know what, Willada? Not only could he dodge a shoe, he could throw a pitch. Right? Like, most presidents can't throw an opening pitch to save their fucking life. Bush could throw a fucking pitch. He could get it across the plate. He could get it in the strike zone. Right? And he could dodge that fucking shoe. Right? Like, he was, you know, fucking, I mean, the rest of it was a nightmare hellscape of war criminality, but it is what it is, right? Like, they're all war criminals at the end of the day. <laughs> Bush. Oh, okay. Kangamoo. That's fucking it. Biden seems like Bush Jr. if he was older and had dementia. Just saying. Um, he was literally asking to be banned, apparently. He's, he's, um, do I like tortillas? Tortillas are fucking brilliant. Um, I think Oaxacan cuisine is one of the pinnacles of cuisine. Um, and Mexican food is arguably the best food in, um, in existence. Like, I, look, I love... I, I think the single best food stuff is potentially like low country Carolina whole hog uh, pulled pork uh, whole hog barbecue with like a mustard sauce as a singular dish that may be the best food on the planet for me. Um, but at the end of the day, taken as a uh, as a whole as a cuisine, I think um, I think Mexican food is the best food. Um, for all that it encompasses. And when we say Mexican food, I mean, most Americans just think of fucking tacos and burritos and shit. But, I mean, just, I, I specifically, I would say Oaxacan cuisine is the best. It, is, it shows the refinement that, like, you would expect from, like, French Nouveau cuisine and that sort of thing. It shows the, the, the culinary refinement that... Um, that we we think of when we think of world class cuisines, so yeah, I would say specifically Oaxacan cuisine, but Mexican food is the best food on the planet, um, and so tortillas are necessary. Tortillas are life. Um, so, are. so yeah, there's that. That's that's there you go. And yes, Caboose is 100% right. Best Mexican food is the stuff you get from a little old lady selling that, sh uh, selling that shit that looks like it'll kill you out of the back of a car trunk. Or, um, like, um, or, or, uh, um, uh, um, a street cart. Uh, a street cart, um, is most assuredly... Why, why, what the fuck is going on here with my browser? Some weird shit's happening with my browser. Hang on. Uh, exit. Kill. Sorry, I'm killing everything. Kill. 
Vivaldi's just having a moment. There we go. We love our house. Been here for years. Yeah, but there's an animal in the attic. There we go. All right. Yeah, that was weird. Um. All right. Trunk Tomb always are the best. Fuck yes. Um. All right. Somebody asked me um a question. I know I saw a question. Um. Oh, uh, it was super amazing. Um, how do you spell Oaxaca? O, O A X. A C A O A X A C A super amazing. That's how you, that's how you, that's how you spell Oaxaca. Um, so there you go. Um, uh, best Mexican food I ever had was a shithole in DC where my father saw a drug deal in the bathroom. Yeah, that's, that's about right. Um, My roommate is a big fan of fried mojara. Mojara. My, my, roll, my roll on the R is not going well there. Mojara. Um, all right. Oh, fucking. Um, but yeah. Um, uh, um, negro. Uh, mole negro. Rex. Yeah. Mole negro. Fucking brilliant sauce. I mean, that's a world-class sauce. You can have 28, like upwards of like 28, 30 ingredients in a mole negro that fucking takes hours to make. It takes like a day and a half to make a, a good mole negro. Fucking like, yes, best. Fucking full on. What are my views on the adult movie industry normalizing butt play in society? Well, I'm a gay male, so fucking whatever. Play with my butt. Um... Uh, fucking yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I, I am not only in favor of the normalization of butt play in society. Um, I am, uh, I am adamantly for it. Um, so if you've got like a hashtag you need me to tweet out or something, I'm here for it. Super amazing. Well, unless you're female, then do not play with Kai's butt. Yeah, no, fucking keep that. Keep you can just keep moving. Um, Hashtag God invented prostates for uh, prostates for a reason. Yes. Yeah, multa is um, multa is Spanish slang for cannabis. Like that's. I mean, I I learned that both from um, from the offspring, but also from Latinos in my area. Fucking F. <laughs> Speaking of prostates, I really need to be. Uh, <laughs> hey, Rev. Um, all right, hang on. Let me drag this icon set back over, though. <laughs> Viva la tamale, lady.
Oh shit, yeah, somebody shut down the tamale lady. Fucking get her back, holy shit. No, no, uh, please no soliciting except for Carlos the burrito guy. Um, no solicitation except the tamale lady. Yeah. Dude. Well, I mean, why wouldn't you pay to paint a mural for the tamale lady to the tamale lady of the tamale lady, right? Like, I mean, yeah, 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 fucking martyrs to the cause, blah, 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 blah. You know what? Get the fucking tamale lady up on that wall. Every town has a tamale lady and everyone respects her. I don't think every town has a tamale lady. Um, and that is, that's a sad thing, Caboose. I, I think every town needs and should have. I think, I think a tamale lady is uh, a human right. I, th I think food, water, housing, um, you know, healthcare, tamale lady. I, I think it's, I think it's up there with like, you know, yeah. I don't even think, you don't even need to like tamales, though I will, I, I don't respect you if you don't like tamales. Um, you don't even need to like tamales. Just the fact that your town has a tamale lady tells me that you live in a cultured area and that I can come there, that I can feel safe there, right? I, I, I you know, Viva, you don't even know what a fucking tamale is? Holy shit, what is wrong with you? This, this is a tamale. This is, <laughs> Shiloh, thanks for the raid. Um, we're, we're, we're well off. Well, we're, we're kind of in politics. Um, basically what we've decided is that tamale ladies are a uh, human right. And that like, it's critical infrastructure. Um, that there's like food, water, healthcare, housing, and tamale ladies. And that if you live in a place without a tamale lady, that you live in like some place that is a shithole. Yeah. So, yeah, we've sort of decided that. But um, Viva didn't know what a tamale le uh, tamale is. Um, tamale ladies are essential workers. Yeah, preach. Um, yeah. Um, okay. So it's masa. It's 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 corn meal. It's 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 mushed up corn um, basically. Um, that's spread out flat over uh, what you see there, the, the corn husk, the dried uh, corn husks. And then you put some sort of filling and you roll it up and you put it in a, a steamer basket and you steam it. Um, and they're amazing and they're delicious and they go best with like, a, you know, a nice chili verde. Um, and they're perfect and amazing. Um, so yeah. Red, I'm not afraid of it because I got an entire fucking like casserole dish ready and waiting with uh, with um, some slow cooked rice and bison and like a mirepoix, like mushrooms, onion, carrots, celery um, with some chopped up cilantro and that sort of thing waiting for me just in the oven. So I'm I'm not afraid to get hungry. Um, so <laughs> after I'm done with this stream, I'm going to smoke a bunch of fucking weed and meet my macros for the day. It, it descriptive is it's already cooked. I just turned the oven off and it's just come to like room temperature. But yes, we decided that tamales were fucking a human right. Um, Shiloh, how, or peep, I don't know if Shiloh's still here. Um, how was your stream? What did you guys get up to? Um, did everything go well? I, I've got the stream title of the capitalism killing 14 million in, uh, a year in counting sort of thing. And it's been baiting out capitalist chuds all night long. Um, literally told everyone I used to have a tamale lady the other day and no one understood what I was saying. Trailhead, um, you need to find new people to talk to. That's, that's, that is, that's sad. That's sad. Um, yeah, like that's depressing. Like if I, if I looked around and fucking, 
Like, if people did, it, it, of course, I live in Las Vegas, right? Like, uh, the house, uh, you know, I live in Las Vegas. So, um, if people here didn't know what a tamale lady was, I would, I, I would be concerned. Uh, Viva tamales equal overrated. Okay, everybody cancel Germany. Yeah, Germany's canceled. We're doing it again. Uh, Germany's out. Um, Viva is representation for all of Germany as far as I'm concerned. Germans are out. They're off the list. Canceled. Yep. That's just time to go. Yep. All I'm hearing is, is that German. Do we need to do another occupation of Germany? Tamales are mandatory. Dude, I, I they're amazing. They're just simple. They're... This is the brilliance of, like, I was saying earlier that we ended up on this because somebody asked me my opinion on, uh, on, um, on, uh, uh, on tortillas. And my, in my opinion, Mexican food is the greatest cuisine on the planet, but specifically Oaxacan cuisine. Um, due to the, like, high culinary approach that they take, but the access to fresh ingredients and the breadth of proteins that they're willing to address, like chipolines, crickets, and these sorts of things, right? Like, they, they will use, if it swims, if it flies, if it if it hops, if it crawls, if it, like, they, they're willing to go the breadth on it. And they, they just, the, like, mole negros that are born of the Oaxacan cuisine are so complex. And uh, honestly, I think it's some of the best... Um, I, I honestly, I think it's, I will put it forward as, yeah, 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 the French did a whole lot of, and I'm not going to deny from a culinary aspect, the French contributions to the world of culinary arts are amazing, but Oaxacan slash Mexican cuisine is the best. Uh, sidewalk, yeah, dude, chip and are amazing. Um fucking you you fry some crickets and you sprinkle them with salt chili lime a um, little bit of cumino um if you want and they're absolutely amazing um i went back to the neighborhood where i grew up they put no vendor signs around all all around my old elementary school the kids won't know what how good we had it dude red commodity that fucking sucks dude i'd be tearing those signs down praxis bitch <laughs> Direct action. Fuck these signs. <laughs> uh, well, if it has lime and salt, I guess I'm in. Dude, sidewalk. They're great. They're great. Like I don't know if you drink beer. I don't drink beer, but they're great beer. Like a beer accompaniment. They're they're better than peanuts or fucking popcorn or pretzels or anything like that. Dude, they're a great bar snack. <laughs> my man yeah no fuck those signs um yeah i i'm fucking wait who is this eating animals is cringe yeah no fuck off <laughs> look if you want to be a if you want to be a vegan that's 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 fine no nobody's gonna stop you 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 are free to live your life but on this channel sorry we did an entire like 45 minutes basically centered around uh, guinea pig preparation um, because Peru. Um, I'm a big fan of Peruvian food um, and they utilize guinea pigs. It's Cui, uh, C-U-I in, uh, in Peruvian uh, for the anglicized Peruvian spelling. Um, and they're amazing. They're delicious. Um, and it is indigenous food. So if you attempt to remove it from them and tell them they shouldn't eat it, then stop being a colonizer. Um. <laughs> uh. Che, I only eat consenting animals. <laughs> In my high school, we didn't have a commodity. We had a guaranteed sale. Uh, we had guaranteed sale with the salsa. Um. Yeah, animals would eat us. Turnabout's fair play. Uh, look, I, I am anti-industrial food, uh, industrialized food. I go to extraordinary lengths to uh, source. I'm literally known in my community for, um, the, there's a, Kai has a guy. Like, we literally have a bingo square for it. I have a guy for everything. Um, and I go to extraordinary lengths to try and remove myself from the industrialized food system as much as possible, up to including wild hunted elk, hand, di hand divers, uh, collected scallops, um, artisanal rendered like duck fat from a guy in Texas who raises ducks. Um, like I, I go to great lengths 
to ensure that like I'm not participating as much as possible in the bullshit food supply that most of you participate in. Um, and I'm sure as a vegan, um, you definitely don't um, have any um, produce that is passing through basically indentured servants' hands in the form of Latinos who, in, at least in North America, collect the majority of our food. If you're in Europe, it's probably immigrant labor from where? Somewhere in the Eastern, Eastern European bloc. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let's find the weirdest dish. I want to try new stuff. I mean, it's, it's Poland. Bush said Poland. So there we go. Um, I'm, I'm in the camp of, um, Marcus. We get same day fresh langoustines from, uh, from the coast of Ireland. I'm not kidding you, Marcus. Vegas runs supply lines like nothing else. Nobody runs supply lines like Vegas. Those casinos are a marvel of neoliberal fucking capitalism. It is insane. Oceana here. Same with the slaughterhouse worker, uh, workers having shitty working conditions and shit under capitalism. Yeah. Um, yeah, we can, we can get fresh live langoustines the same day from the coast of Ireland here. It's absolutely insane what you can get in Vegas. Um, hey, Fertus. Um, oh, and as far, Viva, as far as the weirdest dish goes, I'm in the, like, I, I'm sort of torn. If I had to go weirdest dish, I would go, like, Hakarl, or, uh, Hakarl, or, um, I'm in the, like, fermented fish territory. Hakarl, or, um, Surströming, or even, like, it's not, it's not fermented fish, but Balut. We've talked about Balut. Um, I'm, I'm in that camp, um, or century eggs, century eggs, century eggs, balut or hakarl or surströming, right? Like that's, that's for me, these are the weirdest dishes. Um. Here it's not Poland anymore. They want to sleep with one, four people in the one room apartment. Companies can't have support without amount of human decency. Yeah. Fair enough, Walada. Um, Shay for legal. I do not engage in cannibalism. Um, how are you, Fertus? Viva Century Eggs. I tried already, dude. They're awful. They're just sulfur. They're just sulfur. They're so sul uh, sulfurated. Uh, sulfurated. Oh, wait, uh, like uh, sulfamic. I don't know how I want to describe that. Um, Sir Sturman 2. Um, Tennessee oysters. Trailhead. Is that like Rocky Mountain oysters? Um, you mean um, Carolyn? Carolyn Goodman? Sidewalk? Uh, the, the wife uh, of uh, Oscar? Um, it actually, Rev, you're not that far off. Hakarl is H-A-K-A-R-L. Yeah, it's got like a fucking something over one of the A's. Um, oh yeah. Oh, bull testicles. Okay, so Rocky Mountain Oysters. Yeah, that's, that's generally what we call them most of the time. Um, yeah. That's out, out west especially, we call them Rocky Mountain Oysters. Um, they're weird. They're creamy. So uh, as long as they're skinned properly and then they're like breaded and deep fried, honestly, they're like any other breaded deep fried thing. They're not even a thing. Um, the booster's kicking your ass though, Fertus. Dude, Fertus, the booster kicked my ass too. It it kicked my ass. Uh, sulfuric. Yeah. Yeah, Rev. That's what I was after. Thank you, Rev. Um... No, no, Zippy. Um, generally speaking, no. Um, I mean, I can look it up, but I mean, fact of the matter is, is, um, most people, uh, don't define, they don't. 
Yeah. Yeah, up, up here they're 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 bulls. Um Hey Slaughterhouse, want to come on the air and have a conversation? You're not afraid, right? Come on, man. Come on the air. Let's have a conversation. You can you can you can own the LARPing Anarchity live on air. I'm sure that'll go real well for you. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. You're not some fucking keyboard warrior, right? <laughs> the CCP the CCP is not fucking Marxist Leninist. They're dangest. Dang, 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 basically took you bunch of fucking uh, LARPing MLers and fucking just absolutely dogged you up the ass with capitalism. It's cat fucking China's. China's just state capitalism at this point. It's hilarious, you fucking lot. <laughs> fucking long live the CCP. Oh, also, hang on, we have a sound effect for that. Fuck the Chinese government there. Anyway, um... First time I've heard the Tennessee oysters thing too. I lived in Tennessee in the Midwest. Yeah, I lived in Tennessee. I've never heard them referred to as Tennessee oysters. It's it's always been Rocky Mountain oysters or Prairie oysters. Um, did you know that the grooming period of Australian colonization, the colonizers would commonly make wallets out of the scrotums of their favorite na uh, their favorite natives. Um, actually, Bush, I have heard about that before. Um, yeah. I have heard about that before. I, I I don't know a whole lot about it, but I've actually heard that mentioned in passing. Um, and um, here's here's what um, here's what a place a, a plate of Rocky Mountain oysters looks like, right? So here's here's the deal. Like after you batter and fucking deep fry, like you dredge uh, a plate of bull's testicles. Honestly, it, I, I'm not a fan of the cocktail sauce. Like some people literally use cocktail sauce here. Um, I use I'm just a good old fucking fashion like lame ass American. I would use ranch here. Um, so yeah. But once you batter and deep fry something and like dip it in ranch, it just becomes a non-issue. Fuck the Chinese government there. Fuck the Chinese government there. Fuck the Chinese government there. Anyway, um Slaughterhouse. Here's how this is going to work. You're either going to come on the air with me and actually have a, a engage in the dialectical exercise that I'm sure you're you're well studied in uh, in Marxian dialectics, right? So you're going to either engage in the dialectical exercise and use proper rhetorical device and argue in good faith and come on the air and have this discussion with me, or we're going to remove you from the room because, quite frankly, we were having a perfectly lovely conversation without you. So. <laughs> I await your response. Um, and yes, the countdown theme will be starting soon. Oh, I'm perfectly, I'm perfectly willing to look like a fool in front of my viewers. So please, make me look like a fool. You're not a coward, right? So, time to shit or get off the pot. What's your decision? You gonna be, you gonna be leaving, or are you going to um, <clears throat> actually doing it? L, L, my lovely L. How are you, L? 
how is this this weirdo holiday season treating you? And thank you for the Daddy Bezos box. Look at that. Prime sub. 10 months. Oh, L. So... Oh, Viva. I mean, let's face it. So get in voice chat. I'm 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 okay. My neuropathy's a little it has kicked off a little bit. L. It's kicked off a little bit and it, it it's kind of bothering me right now. Um also, you know, I'm a little behind on my macros for today, but I got a halfway decent uh halfway decent workout in. Got my core done. Um I got some upper body. Also got some weight training done. Um so, you know, that's that's bonus. Um, you going to be putting up with, um, any, any craziness, um, this, uh, this, this holiday, uh, L you got any like insane family you got to put up with? Oh, oh. <sighs> Oh, uh, macronutrients, Che. Macronutrients. Um, protein, carbohydrate, and fat. How, how are these people? Um, yeah, Che, I, I feel you. Um. Oh, cool. Means I get a shot. Keeping it small because of COVID. That's that's for the best, L. It's for the best. Um <laughs> everyone is either sick or too dumb to be safe. L, I heard a, a great anecdote uh, about an elderly woman in the store. She was wearing a mask and um pers- the the woman behind her said, Why are you wearing that mask? And the elderly woman turned around and said, So I don't catch whatever makes you that dumb. So, yeah. And Beast, please be a top. 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 Um, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Like, if Hassan has come out get, uh, come out as gay, I call dibs. Just saying. I'm going to get a roll in the sack first. And then y'all can have it. Um... I mean, Kavas, it's obvious how to get it done as long as you have functional reading skills and you read, like, I don't know, two sentences worth of words. Marcus, I want Hassan to be a bottom and I'll fight to make it happen. He could be, he could be a switch. He could be a switch, right? That'd be interesting. That'd be a fascinating thing. Oh, it's God. Here we go. This is on the rest of you. This is on the rest of you. You're going to have to unmute yourself to talk. Count to five for me, please, so we may check your audio. You hear me? Count to five for me, please, so we may check your audio. I'm going to count to five. If you can hear me, let me know. You need to speak for some indeterminate amount of time so I can level your audio. Well, um, well, I don't know, man. I'm right here. What's up? That'll actually fucking work. I worked around it. Jesus Christ. All right. Hold on, give me a sec.
Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, all right. So, yeah, anarchism sucks, bro. Wow, what a salient critique. Yeah. That just sucks, bro. Wow. Um, yeah. That's 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 yeah. an enlightening analysis, the likes of which I've I've rarely heard. Normally that comes yeah. from Trump supporters though. And so. and don't don't be bashing China. China has done way more than you'll ever do in your life. Hey guys, yeah. a, a macro organization has done more than a micro organization can do. Wow, new more news at eleven. Your 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 ideology is antiquated, bro. Just you know. Just stop trying to antiquated? spread false. An antiquated? Is that the word you were looking for? Yeah. Um, yeah. Interesting. Well, so, yeah, you're gonna make you're gonna make fun of how I speak or what? I'm waiting for an actual salient critique of anarchism. Salient critique. I already told you your ideology is antiquated. Um, anarchist uh, anarchist theory is still being written, whereas Marxist Leninist theory is dead in the ground. Yeah, how? Because the ideologies and philosophies that y'all ascribe to are static how? in nature and are not being you're, revised. You're not, you're not really, that's not, you're not really describing how. Rev, breathe. I know, I don't want to kill you, Rev. Uh. Yeah, that your, your ideology sucks, bro. It's, it's a failure. Wow, that was that was great. So in yeah, what, what very great. What in what way is China actually Marxist? Have you, have you ever have you ever read theory? Like actual Marxist Leninist theory? Yes, I've actually peeled what, apart what have you peeled read? Marx. Marx. Because Len, Lenin's a prick who can uh, who can rot in the grave for all I care. He ordered the artillery shelling of the Anarchist Club of Moscow and uh, declared open season that resulted in the uh, machine gunning of anarchists in the streets across the USSR. Um, also, let's not even mention Kronstadt. We well, don't need to get into that. But so Marx oh, so Lenin Lenin can rot that. in the grave. Marx, on the other hand, has amazingly uh, insightful critiques of capitalism, Ooh. but his uh, his solution, his prescriptive solution uh, for authoritarian centralizing communism is, well, short-sighted and lacks understanding of human psychology, it seems. What are you talking about? That doesn't really discredit China being Marxist. In what way Wait. is China Marxist? Well, th you're, you're trying to... You're trying to say that it's not Marxist because of those reasons. I'm no, trying to I'm, trying to, I'm trying to see if you know a lick of anything because the that's fact, why I asked you the if fact you read of them, anything. And I, I, but you're not really telling me. You're just reading what rich people told you, bro. I'm reading what rich people told me. You know, like a um, an attorney with a vineyard? I didn't say that, did I? You, Marx was an attorney with a vineyard. I didn't say that, though. Oh. We're not talking about him being a lawyer. Interesting. So, I'm talking about the theory. But I don't know why you're getting into Marx like that. In what way? Come on. I'm, I'm in what you, way China, is China, China Marxist? But how does how does China, the way you're trying to say that it's in not Marxist? In what way or, is China Marxist? Or, or, or even you're the, the state itself. You're the I ML. You're against the state. You are the, you know, you, you are the you, Chinese you have, stand in this conversation have, and no, the Marxist-Leninist. In what have, way no, is China I, Marxist? Because if I explain to you, you're not going to get it. Ah, okay. Oh, it's secret. Yeah, it's I, that's secret why I asked knowledge. you if you read anything. You haven't really told me you read any form of... I've of, read Marx. Of, of his writing. I haven't okay, read Okay, what Lenin. have you read? Tell me. I've peeled apart the first volume of Das Kapital and I've read the Communist Manifesto. Also, I've let, read the diary entries. Okay, well, okay, so from what you read, tell me, how does that not really correlate with, uh, with uh, China's conditions as of today? China today is state-run capitalism. How? Because of the reforms that Deng brought in uh, right around the time of Tiananmen Square. Well, it's, okay, well, hold up. What reforms did he bring in? Oh, I don't know. Could it be the yes. multi? Could it be the multinational corporations? Could it be the wage slavery? Could it be the fact that they have a billionaire elite class in their society? Could it be the fact that they practice neoliberal? You, you haven't studied China's history. 
Have you, um, do, what do you know you, about anarchism? No, no, no. Hold up. We'll talk about that in a bit if you want. No, we but won't I, actually, no, no. because we yeah, won't end up, up getting there. Yeah. The fact no, of the matter, the fact of the matter jumping. is, is you refuse to answer any singular question. You're deflecting. And, and no. I've answered every no, question I'm you post to me. Well, in what to way? In China what way is China is Marxist? Marxist? In your view, in what way really is China Marxist? Me a logical, Defend it. In what way response. is China Marxist? Defend it. In what way is China Marxist? Defend it. Maybe I won't understand the answer, but Wait, actually I, answer I the just question. Literally, literally. Actually that in your answer chat. the question. Listed 800 million people out of poverty, eliminated extreme poverty, contained COVID. Less than 50K uh, They didn't contain COVID worth of shit. Look How is that Marxist? How is that Marxist? Dead, bro. How is that Marxist? We mean. It's because you don't understand because you haven't read shit, bro. You only listen to what rich people tell you. What, rich, it what rich people? It favors your ideology. It kind of favors your ideology. This is this is kicking water uphill. I mean, are you gonna be able to logically explain how? I want well, you, you to actually answer the Marx, question. I don't think you read anything about Marx at all. Should just, should I go get my and, uh, copies as well, and we can go through them together? Uh, should we CIA get CIA propaganda? Oh, and there it is! You, Everybody, bingo funny, square! CIA propaganda. You, you're, you're against the state, but yet you believe the U.S. state. What they have to say about other. States, right? Isn't isn't that ironic there? What what do I believe? I'm asking you. No, no, no. You just unequivocally no, no, no. stated wait, that wait, wait, I up. believe what the oh. US government says about I'm, other governments. What do I believe? I'm asking you. No, no, I'm you that was not you, a question. You, that was an unequivocal statement about my beliefs. What do I believe? Right. Please explain to me what I believe. You're against the state, are you? Yes or no? I'm asking you a question. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Including so why would you China. what the U.S. state has to say about China? If you and your ideology, because I'm trying to get to the bottom of this too, you know. What 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 do I believe about China that the U.S. government has told me? No, 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 no. I'm asking you if why you got to listen to the U.S. state if you're against the state again. In what way am I listening to the U.S. state? Because you're literally regurgitating what they're saying against uh, what China's saying. State capitalism. That's all. That's all CIA propaganda. Oh, it's CIA propaganda. Oh, okay. yeah. It's deep state. It's, and that's, it's and the then, deep and, state. And, 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 and then, you know, that comes from the state. That comes from the state. So it's the deep state. Oh, interesting. So, I, I, I so, just don't so, understand. So there's never been, there's never been logic a, here. Interesting. So there's never been any authoritarianism that an anarchist could have a salient critique of uh, contained within China, right? No, authoritarianism no, so, is not real, bro. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, dude? okay. Authoritarianism isn't real, y'all. Um, don't worry. The United States yeah, government it, isn't authoritarian either. Then, in that case, it's, it's not. It's just it's you don't understand because you haven't read any, none of Marx's fucking works, bro. Cool. Should I go get them and we can go through them together and you can teach okay, a class? Okay, yeah, pull it. Out. Cool. All right, let's. I'll go get them. Yeah, because you don't really seem to understand what I'm trying to say, and I, I'm, I'm already trying to explain. All right, so uh, nobody heard anything you were saying because you were muted the entire time. Um, okay, so what volume uh, should we start on? Bro, I'm asking you to prove. No, no, no. You're, claim, you're claiming that China state capitalists prove it through. No, the no, no, no. Don't you don't get to pivot, boo boo. We're going through. I'm not pivoting. We're, I'm not pivoting. That's yeah. what we literally started talking about. Okay, so what part of Mark should we go through here? Because I have the complete unabridged works of Marx here in my hand. So okay, I'm gonna repeat myself. We're talking about Marxism and Leninism with China, right? Mm -hmm. So okay. in what in what so, way I'm gonna I'm gonna consult so in, in what you, way can I, I pull out of this book? To me through the, no, the that's not how this works. Works. that's no, not how up. this works, Pookie. Well, You're the up. ML. No, no, no. You have to prove have. to me that China is Marxist. I have and nothing I, to prove to you. Oh well, in that case, we're done here. Well, 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 what, what should I prove to you? Then we're done here. This isn't. You're the one. That, you're the one that told me to come in here. Now 
Nobody can hear you. We're listening to the Tanky's coping song. Now the song's over. So, uh, what what portion uh, should I should I skip to, or which portion of Marx's works should I skip to that you, no, you'll be teaching? No, I'm, a, I'm asking you to prove to me how China state capitalist through Marx's works. No, through his that's through his your theory, job, Pookie. I asked you. I that's asked your you, job, you, Pookie. You said yes. You're the ML. So where do you get this claim then? Well, how, how do you see China as being a state capitalist? society and how you arrive to that do they do they not have okay so what is capitalism i'm asking you what is capitalism baseline definitions what is capitalism do we know how how can how can we move this argument do we know what capitalism is each other questions i'm asking you answer me bro i'm asking you a question because capitalism is the privatization of the commons and the means of production in a society this is the number one uh, technical uh qualifier for what uh provides capitalism in a society it is in market exchange that's part of it okay so Uh, do they have do they have do they have have existed Markets have Again, genius. I know. Dirt. I'm saying that okay. as an excluder for it. Shut the fuck up, man. You know, Jesus the, Christ. You know, markets have existed. So, uh, don't bring markets. So, so does China have privatized commons and means of production? Be- because hold up. Does the, China the have commons? privatized okay, means of production? Does China have privatized means of production? Let me answer. Does China have privatized person. means I'll of production? I'm telling you. I'm telling you, dude. China. It's not what you think it is, bro. You need to really study China and its history, man. Have you ever been there? That's none of your business. He's never been there. That's none of your business. He's, so. ne- he's never been I there. Said, I don't care if you think He is a white Westerner but, uh, who is standing China to the extent I'm that he's a, never even been there. Nice try. I'm, dude, I'm telling you, China, China, bro, China's a shit, bro. It's going to take over, bro. Goodbye, America. Okay, and China's gonna take over, bro. Yeah, the you know, Mongol, so the Mongol, gonna, gonna the Mongols me, took over too. Did you China want to live under them too? Anyway, are you keep deflecting into me. I guess wanted me to prove to you because I can't really prove anything to you since you don't really understand Marxist theory. You apparently don't even know what capitalism is at this point, bro. I do. I'm willing to I literally said, walk I, through I, I Marxist said. theory from his own text with you, and you could deflect and pivot every time. Whoa, 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 you will what not you answer go? the question on, straight on, read, up. Read, does read China what, have what, what privatized exactly, means exactly? of production? Does China exactly? have privatized means of production? Uh, yes and no, but it's under the control of the state. So it's state-run under capitalism. The, no. It's not. Oh, okay. What? Well, why is it not? What do you mean? Why is it not? It's literally the government oversees the production, but the and own, regulates. But the oh yeah, the U.S. has uh, governmental oversight and regulation of private industry as well. Not really. But we still have privatized industry. Have to decide on how so to price and value their stuff. Does China have privatized means you know, of production? Wait, wait. Think we're having an inflation problem here? What, what, what's your fucking point? My point you see, is, capitalism is ch- and China, China is capitalism in the United States is different. It's not a, a monolith, how you trying to make it wow, out to be. Wow, it's so, almost like there's multiple yeah. flavors and variants of capitalist ideology uh, modalities yeah, because of operation. Yeah, materialism. Since and you don't know materialism, whole, you know, you're, cool. you're an idealist, so you have no really understanding of so, uh, historical materialism at all. Yeah, definitely the way don't. China Why don't you explain it to the me? The the United States developed is different. The United States developed through the, through, through the freaking exploitation of indigenous and black people and, and china? china is a different history 
and Mexico's a different history. So, China, yeah, China, it's be a different, China, China has no uh, China, are China has no differently. exploitation of um, and that, any and, people. And the fact that you know it, it cracks me up because you try to make it seem like capitalism's like this monolith that it's just like universally applicable everywhere. You know, so so China has no exploitation you know, of any indigenous peoples. No, man, it's because you're not understanding. None whatsoever. You're not understanding. When China was founded by the Communist Party, it was an agrarian society. They did not have capital to develop. You know, they had to lease I'm their sorry, land did you just say China was founded Listen, by the Communist Party? Oh, yes, the People's Republic of China, yes. Yes, sir. 1949. Look it up. Do you know the etymological roots of the word China? It's me, it means united. What, what are you trying to get at here? It means the fact that the Qin Dynasty founded China. Uh, that's the people's that's repu- feudalism. I'm not talking about feudal. I thought we were talking about capitalism. It's why, why almost, are you de- it's deflecting almost, to feudalism? It's almost like this people's and this land has a history before the CCP. What? <laughs> we're not talking about the history of China like that. We're talking oh, about, we're only talking about the last seventy years or so. Okay, for for a land that is two thousand or so years old as a as a society. Cool. All right. Um. So what what, what other barriers would you party, like so would we're you like to put about, up about capitalism? And that started from like around earlier before feudalism went through a, a change, right? Like what is in feud- the world, what is feudalism, the industrial revolution? What is feudalism, by the way? Really? Yeah. Really? Are we going to talk? Are we going to talk about capitalism or feudalism? No, I'm going to make well, sure. Why, I'm going to ask you for. De- I'm going to ask you definition. I'm going to ask you definitional sets go in circles for here, every like, single well, well, thing you say because you have yet to provide a definition for shit for shit, and I'm willing to go through Marx's theory with you, literally through the text no, of Marx, and you won't do Let's that do either. It. Let's do it. Okay, so Let's what what volume of Das Kapital would you like me to crack? What, where should I start? We, I'm to, I want you where to should I start in Marxist theory? Where, Marxist where should I start? Works, how in Marxist works proves that China state capitalist. That's what I want you to prove. Oh, to I me. don't need Marx for that. Uh, what do you mean? So I'll just, come, I'll, then, use, I'll then, use Adam, who are you, I'll use Adam excuse Smith me, for excuse that. Excuse me, excuse me. But who are you to decide that China is not Marx Leninist if you I'll use don't Adam even Smith, know? Because I'll use the father theory, of capitalism for that. Um, what 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 are you what science are you using the the science from the West? I will use and that's what I'm saying. I will use the to, father of people. capitalism's economic theory for that. Tell me, tell me how how Marx is a Smith, theory Smithian economics of social of, of of productive forces or production and that's capital proof proof that China is capitalist or state capitalist, however you you uh, leftoids call it leftoids holy shit so you're like holy shit you're like fish hooked you're like oh my god you're all the way on the oh you're like authoritarian right but standing the ccp oh this is a weird fucking, <sighs> where are you from don't worry about it bro why does that matter to you because this is now i'm fascinated with you beyond your ideology how you landed in this how old are you and you're like 18 to 25 25 to 30 31 to 40 like where do you land why did why does that matter we're not talking about me here we're talking i oh, want it you to matters, prove to me. trust me I, I just don't uh, because I just all don't I have to it. use is the father of capitalism's basic uh, analysis of what is okay, capitalism. Okay, which is come on, let me know. I want to know <sighs> the privatization of the means of production vis a vis the labor theory, what? the vis a vis the labor theory of value, which Marx co ops and steals from uh, from Adam Smith. Okay, and how does China redirect that surplus value that supposedly what you claim China state capitalists? How did they uh, use that what, surplus value? What do they use for the profits? What do they use the profits for? I'm asking you because I need you're the one that's claiming it's state capitalist, but how is it state capitalist if the material conditions of the working class has been elevated? No, I'm pretty sure you've seen you, pictures. You do, you do realize that, that that the U.S. The, did that the, too. The high-speed railways. You do realize. You've seen that, that picture. Oh, I'm asking you a question. You've seen those pictures, right? Um, 
Here we go. It's like it's been circulating through the internet. Oh, this is this is this will be fun. Oh, I don't know what I don't know what happened to those profits. Let's see. Net worth sixty five point nine billion. Net well, worth fifty nine point four billion. Uh, net worth net worth fifty point eight billion. Net worth forty nine point one billion. Net worth forty one point five billion. Net worth thirty three point one billion. Net worth thirty two point one billion. I wonder where those profits went, guys. Yeah. Net worth thirty one billion. Net worth thirty billion. Net worth twenty eight point eight billion. Huh? I wonder where those, well, that what, profit went. Twenty seven point eight billion. Twenty five point one billion. Twenty three point nine billion. You, I wonder where all those profits what, what, went, what guys. You, what are you talking? What are you talking about? Profits. Profits of what? Pro- what are profits in an profits enterprise? Of what? What are profits? What it's are surplus value? It's surplus uh-huh. value. Uh, and where is that surplus value derived from? Marxian critique. Uh, it's created between the, the interaction of labor and capital. What, what are you trying to get I'm at s- here? I'm saying. I'm pointing out. That or it's considered a byproduct of, of uh, labor and capital. Viva! I don't doubt that in the least. Um. But, but I'm trying to say what, you know, my, the pro- my question the to you profits, is how does that surplus value the, the profits uh, are the stolen appropriated through, through the state? Like, I want you to explain to me. They weren't appropriated to the state. They were appropriated into the private hands of an elite group of oligarchs. And who's that? Who are those oligarchs? Billionaire capital class. And then hold up. And I don't want you to think I'm trying to defend... Uh, China, I do have criticisms of China, guys. Oh, you yeah, know, you definitely have tons of them. Mm-hmm. I do yeah. have criticism of China. Okay? We've, we've definitely you know, noticed them. Hmm? That's, you For know, because sure. we believe that's the way we learn through criticizing each other. So here we are. Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah. now that we've talked about Marxian critiques of uh, of uh, China and uh, Smithian critiques of China and Dengist uh, policy ushering in an era of capitalist action in China, how about you Dengist. tell how about you tell me Look. about anarchism? What do you want to know? What is it? What is anarchism? Mm-hmm. Yeah, mutual aid. Abolish the, abolish the state. Why what exactly why, are we why, digging here? Why do we advocate for the abolition of the state? Authority, quote, ideal. Well, in our what we call it, it's idealist. It's just uh, it's not really materialist. You can't just abolish the state. We're not. So you really don't uh, know what anarchism is? Okay. Um, we're not at that stage yet to so that's, that's, do something that's like that. That's fascinating that you 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 have these critiques of anarchism as an antiquated uh, philosophy, it is. but you don't know anything it about it. It is. You mean no? I just told you. What are the philosophical derivations that lead us to the uh, the analysis of unjust hierarchies and the criticism of the state? How do we arrive at that position? Because you guys say that authority or any form of hierarchy is oppressive. No, not any form of hierarchy. Any you material really, form of hierarchy. You really don't understand it, do you? That's you guys' argument. What do you mean? Interesting. This is this is fascinating. This has been an enlightening conversation. Are, are you gonna Are you gonna deny that or? Are you excuse, oh, hold up? Are you denying that? Are you denying that this is not the argument? Because this is what I see from anarchists all the time. Oh, I'm sure even there's the so street. many. You've even had, in the street. I'm sure you've had so many good faith conversations with anarchists over the years. That's definitely been a thing you've done. Um, I'm asking you a question. It's because of a meta ethical analysis that anarchists use as a lens of analysis for detecting coercion and oppression throughout existence that leads us to a philosophical critique of unjust hierarchies, of which the monopolization of force, which is a removal of autonomy for an individual, is monopolized by the state and thus leads us to a critique of the state advocating for a limiting or removal of thereof why well, you got to use big words just to say because that your boy like your boy like big words too impressive. that's See, that's what it literally here's here's just here's trim a, it here's a facet here's a fascinating stop, passage stop trying of, to, of, of trying to sound smart here with oh yes your word there's, salad. there's never been a guy who tried <laughs> to sell sound smart when writing theory right i could so uh, no hold up hold up just trim it bro like i'm being like honestly just trim it uh bro 
how about you go actually read some theory, come back and have a conversation. In the meantime, I've spent enough time um, on this waste of time. I'm, I'm just so a, have I'm, a good one. Anyway, uh, let's see. This one is, yeah, definitely. I don't need, um, there we go. <sighs> that was a waste of my time. What is it with MLs not knowing shit about their own ideology? Com a red commodity. I don't know anything about this stuff, but I bet I could have come up with a better line of bullshit than this guy. Caboose it. I was entertained. It was funny, though, says Mistopheles. Oh. Casual? I'm I'm in that camp. I'm kind of in that camp. Fucking Marcus. Marcus, four years studying theology and philosophy. This is why I drink. China didn't exist before communism. Well, you saw he quickly rolled that back. He pivoted very quickly on that one. And he meant the People's Republic of China, not just China. Because, you know, he made a claim that China came into existence 50 fucking years ago. Jesus fucking craze. Holy shit, man. That was just a... S yeah, oh yeah, no, Slaughterhouse, I just kicked you off the air. I was done wasting my breath. You don't know anything about your own theory. You don't know anything about my theory, and you yet pretend to be able to levy salient critiques of it. You pivot, you deflect, and the fact of the matter is is that any time I put your feet to the fire, you whinged and cringed and, uh, and disappointed. So, yeah, I'm done. I'm wasting my time. Like, that's, I'm, I'm fucking, why should I waste another second of a finite amount of time on somebody who is so poorly prepared? So come prepared next time. Um, also, by the way, my chat's laughing at you. You didn't embarrass me. So the entire task that you set out to do about making me look like a fool, you literally didn't even do that. You never even got off first base, man. But anyway. Uh, Rev. I know, right? Anyway. Um, I know, right? You're, well, I mean, right, Eeyore? Uh, pff, boss, don't drink the things under the sink. Uh, mm. Oh, I forgot to mention. I forgot to mention. Taiwan is an independent nation. Tibet should be free of China's influence. And Tiananmen Square was a massacre that was a stain on the entire existence of humanity. Anyway. <laughs> you have been banned from Gen Zong. Uh... I mean, I'm in that camp. I'm in that camp. Um, pastique. Come on, stop. He's dead already. Uh... <laughs> Tibet and Taiwan are countries. Fuck you, China. Come at me, imperialist cucks. Um... Oh, yeah, he totally looks like Winnie the Pooh. 100%. Fucking.
yeah, exactly, Pastique. That's the that's the fucking fair critique. Is yeah, they both suck. Um, but that's that's fucking dude, fucking Western American privileged, right? Has internet, has water, has food, has TV. Privileged, right? Western American privileged motherfucker standing China is the saddest shit. Why'd you show us the same picture mirrored? Uh, fucking, oh, somebody said something that I was going to respond to. Oh, I'm sorry, Zippy. Um, descriptivist. As a Chinese American, it's so fucking sad. He just called us Angloids. Oh, he must listen to a uh, infrared or some shit. Oh, Pookie. Oh, fucking A. Uh, oh, Buckle. Yeah, it was you, Buckle. Um, feudalism also did, but I mean, it time, it's time passes, right? Like I'm not even going to argue that like capitalism didn't do some shit, right? Like I'm not going to argue that that's fucking foolish, right? What I'm arguing is that capitalism's time is passing. Um, that's my argument is that much like, um, feudalism's time came and the, uh, the black plague actually reordered the labor market essentially in, um, in Europe, um, and a number, another, uh, a number of other social factors led to the collapsing of feudalism and a sort of re a surgence, uh, or a creation of constitutional monarchism, which ushered in a new era and a new order of society. My argument is, is that capitalism's time is waning, that we have entered sort of the Marxian critique of late stage capitalism and that it is starting to turn inward on itself and that these foibles, flaws and inherent, uh, um, uh, disproportionate or uh, maligned um, uh, parameters within capitalism are leading to an accelerated rate of oppressive and coercive elements in our society. So that's that's my argument for you, at least. Um, Lexi, are you here? You want to come on the air for a second, Alex, and fucking have a quick chat before I like do something? Oh, Lexi, it's a whole thing. Yeah, jump into VC and I'll uh, I'll say what's up and I'll catch you up. Hi. Am I the only one that gets a little eye twitch when people use comrade thinking it's a political use somehow tied to the communist revolution in Russia rather than the French revolution? I mean, GL only, I mean, you only get that, um, you only get that effect when people are completely ignorant of history. Um, so, yeah. Oh, I mean, there's, there's, there's like Taiwan and then there's like West Taiwan. <laughs> that's, that's all there really is, right? It's just, it's just Taiwan and then, you know, mainland Taiwan. I don't know what you're talking about. Fucking be, uh, pastique. Good Mexican food, quite rare in the U.S. Dude, it's all over the place. We have so much of it. <laughs> Why did Randy Marsh kill poor Winnie? I'm sorry, are you saying Mexican food is bad? Because I will boot you out of here in an instant. Bye. <laughs> yeah, I just did that. I just did that. <laughs> Fuck it. That motherfucker can piss right off. <laughs> Mexican food is bad. Fuck off. Oh, after putting up with this bullshit? Yeah, Tex Mex isn't Mexican. 100%. You got worse and worse. Your, your parents are queuing on reaction. Jesus Christ.
Christ descriptivist. Are, are your parents like, are you are you first generation, second generation? No, you wouldn't be first generation, but are you like second generation Chinese American, third generation? What What's the deal? Uh, I, Wobbles, I got issues with Graber. I got issues with Graber. I'm not going to get into it right now. I've gotten into it before. I got some issues with Graber that just, yeah. Uh, you're, I'm fucking, dude, I'm, I'm as mixed as it gets. My mom, uh, my mom's f- side of the family is like, dude, they were originally sort of like some Scott Irish, um, that came over way back in the day. Um, early, early. Um, but my mom's side fucked everybody. Um, black people, black people, like we have at least one black dude. We have at least one indigenous dude. We've got a bunch of fucking shit all over the place. Um, my father's side is German. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm basically like straight up just mutt American. God damn it. Stop moving. All right. You there? Uh, second, my mom fled China after pro descriptivist. I have covered Tiananmen Square in in detail. Like, I have pictures. I have a lot of pictures. Uh, Descriptivist, I have a lot of pictures. Um, I have a collection. It's one of those, it's one of those, I call them uncomfortable truths. Holy shit, your mom protested at Tiananmen. Oh, which, yeah, that's even worse, man. Um, fucking make you think she's a slice of Jesus. Um, all right, what am I... Oh, okay. Hang on. How about now? Nope. Um. All right. You do you, Ox. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, 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 I'm, I'm pale as fuck, right? Like you can see, um, but I tan up super fucking like golden brown. Like that's my, my mom's side. I have like her, her skin. Um, and I just tan brown, like just golden brown. So, all right. Um, all right. How about now? <laughs> Best Deke. Yeah, no. Oh, uh, let's see. Toasty. He's typing. He's typing. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you do you, Ox. Um, I'm Scottish enough to catch fire in the summer. <laughs> yeah, nice. I uh, fucking Viva just claiming me just straight, straight up doing a colonialism on my ass. Viva. Nah, you are Germany now too. Um, that summer was full of butternut squash people. I, you know, yeah. Oh. God, that was, dude, that was a waste of my fucking time. I know it was entertaining for y'all, but I hate doing shit like that. <laughs> you will carry the will of the Vaterland. Um, I don't tan. I reflect light back into space until I turn in the same shade as a red, uh, as, of red as a lobster. Then I wait until my skin peels off and reveals the even whiter shade than I was before. <laughs> nice GL. Um, yeah, no, I, um, it was not entertaining to be, um, no beast. I'm not doing an ML playlist. I don't give a shit enough to do the ML playlist. Like fuck the Marxist Leninist. Sorry. Just like, fuck them. Like, look, Marx's critiques of capitalism were on on mark. Um, they were accurate. They were uh, prescient. Um, but his prescriptive um, fixes his uh, were 
he he claimed to not write recipes for the cook shops of the future and then he went and wrote recipes right um his recipes for the cook shops of the future um were absolutely atrocious uh, i'm not going to i'm not going to fucking spend time like doing that um the only reason we did the 12 hour uh, like ancap playlist is because they claim themselves to be anarchists and well that's fucking with our camp so we got to deal with that but mls that's somebody else's problem uh they whatever um i do not give two shits to like at least infrared he's batshit insane he's potentially violent i don't know like he worries me sometimes right infrared's got a whole bunch of problems but when it comes to like discussing discussing Mar- discussing Marxian philosophy and the underpinning uh, underpinning like Hegelian uh, philosophies and even Kantian, um, he's well versed and and can discuss it at depth. And so, credit where credits due on that front, right? Um, but like ninety eight percent, ninety nine percent of the people that come across as like yay China, yes I'm an ML can't discuss theory they can't discuss marx they refuse to they don't like they've got some weird revisionist version of history that they rely upon honestly it's it's just kicking water uphill i i can't i i can't like why bother not in my circles toxo not in my circles so and I've had a fair run of them across uh, across the country. So I got to tell you, my experience is a lot more uh, a greater depth. So. I, I have no time for especially Leninists, especially Leninists and God Fuck every Stalinist. I swear to God, fuck Marxian critiques. You show me a goddamn Stalinist and I'm already done. Fuck all those idiots. Maoists, Stalinists, oh, Hoxiists, or however the fuck we're supposed to say his name. Jesus Christ, like those crazy fucks. Juche, oh, wow. Let's have dynastic, uh, dynastical uh, monarchism. That's definitely fucking socialism for the win. Right? Like, honestly, the, just the camp is full of fucking detritus on that side. I can't. I can't. And remember, fucking Toxo, fucking, it's it's the MLs that put bullets in the back of the fucking anarchist heads. Right? Like, we're not angry because we've got d- fucking philosophy, dis, uh, you know, d- uh, disagreements. We're angry because Lenin ar- ordered the artillery shelling of the anarchist club in Moscow. We're angry because Lenin declared free open season on anarchists and we started getting machine gunned in the streets. We're angry because Mao rounded up anarchists and executed them summarily. We're angry because, right, like this is... Fuck that, right? That's why we have a disagreement. It's because MLs have been murdering fucking anarchists since the beginning. Every time we turned our fucking backs, y'all put a bullet in our head. So, yeah, we no, there is no leftist unity. It's a fucking meme. We're like, hey, let's fight the revolution together. Pop. Fuck them. Yet, a lot of people who started the revolution weren't murderers either, and yet they ended up it. I don't fucking trust them. I don't trust MLs. I don't trust MLs. <laughs> that's that's. I cool. What's up, Alex? Hey man, sorry about that. My phone's being a dick. All right, let me drive you down a little bit. Oh. Uh, we had we had a dude come in and basically like do the i'm an ml anarchist uh, anarchy is antiquated he couldn't pronounce an uh, antiquated by the way 
Uh, he mispronounced it multiple times. He just could not say the word. But uh, anarchism is antiquated and Marxist uh, ML is the way of the future and China is Marxist and all of those sorts of fucking talking points. I was like, you know what? Fucking let's co- you want to come on the air? Let's do this. Right. You're not a coward. Right. He, after he fi- after he managed to read the first two sentences of the fucking uh, welcome page, which, by the way, what is it with dummies that want to debate and not being able to read? I, I You know, like two two sentences that's all you got to read and it says click the fucking checkbox down below they never they what am i supposed to do anyway when he finally got through the 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 gauntlet that is checking a checkbox on a fucking page um he gets in and it was just a nightmare of deflection and pivoting and just bullshit Apparently it was entertaining for a bunch of people. It was not entertaining for a few, but like he literally like would not answer a single question about Marx. Like I was, he's like, would you know anything about Marx? I'm like, yeah, I, I, I've read some Marx. I've got Marx. I'll get, go get the completed works. We can go through it together. Like, let's, let's go through it together. What, what page should I fucking, no, no, this is about fucking, you know, and he could not define anarchism. He couldn't fucking give me, he could, he barely could even get the brass tacks of capitalism. I did a fucking Smithian and Marxian analysis, like using labor theory of value and prof, uh, profit stealing, right? A uh, critique of how China is capitalist. And he just defaulted to like, China's going to win it all. And oh, by the way, just so you know, China is um, fucking 70 years old, something like that, apparently. Um, don't, don't, don't try and think about it. Don't try and think oh. about it. He, he quickly tried to, like, he tried to retcon it very quickly and go with the People's Republic of China, but he very unequivocally clearly stated that China was formed in 1972. Oh, God. Um, Kill me. He didn't know the etymological origins of China as a word in the Qin Dynasty. He didn't, know, like, it was just a nightmare scenario of, like, you know, and of course, you know, anarchism, anarchism is antiquated. Y'all are, it's an antiquated, outdated ideology. I'm like, what do you know about anarchism? That's not, Nothing this isn't about, me. this isn't about you. We're not, I'm like, can you define anarchism for me? Can you tell me about anarchism? No, he really couldn't. All he had at, in his disposal was, is hierarchy all hierarchies bad and state bad that's all he had um also he defaulted to the of course um you're listening to rich a uh, rich ang- oh, i'm sorry he said in chat angloids we're a bunch of coping angloids he, he ran with that t- uh, tagline um but we're uh, i'm just spewing propaganda from rich people and um C- and the cia I mean, that's normal for Matt, for tankies. Yeah. I right. don't know what it is about you, but you just seem to magnetize and draw in the tankies that are terminally fucking online and don't have any actual education, but are tanky to be edgy. Yeah. He was he was clearly a privileged Western American standing China who could not discuss theory at depth. It was, yes, and, oh, yeah, he, of course, you know, the same thing that I do with everybody who's first on, right, that I've never had a, an audio level check on. I said, you know, uh, literally, like, can you please count to five uh, for me so I can, you know, do, fix your audio. He, of course, r- refused to count to five. Um, oh, also, fun fact, um, authoritarianism isn't real. Yeah, no, no such thing as authoritarianism. George Ordwell would disagree. That reminds me, I got into it with a, a mate of mine the other day on stream, on my last stream of the day, like I properly lost my fucking temper because she was going on about how, because Orwell sold out the quote socialists to the British government, um, all of his good works were irrelevant and he was just a piece of shit. And I lost my shit. I went, first of all, he was dying of tuberculosis in a fucking hospital bed. We don't know what the government fucking said to him to make him sell people out. Second of all, he sold out the authoritarian tankies specifically, literally nobody else. He sold out those who were threatening to put bullets in the backs of the heads of everybody else. Which, again, seems to be a, a common um, pattern with tankies. Yep. And on top of that, it doesn't matter if he did one bad thing because, again, it was a long fucking time ago. None of us were there. We don't know what he was thinking. We don't know what was going through his head. He never wrote it down. He was dying. 
it doesn't detract from all the good shit he did. All the fascists he punched. Yeah, well, no reasons. <laughs> I just, oh. No. I, I hate the fucking purity testing bullshit you get for so much of the fucking left now. Oh, I mean that's absolutely infuriating. Um, he he also he uh, this is this is fucking Zippy picked up on this. Um, um, he may may have been a right winger, LARPing as an ML, maybe. Um, I mean, he because oh. he did slip up at one point and say you leftists, and it's like you're an ML standing mm. china and but i was like wait are you i'm like this is some fish hook theory like this is some fish hook theory like you're you're you you see yourself as like authoritarian right wing and that you claim ml like is that is that what i'm seeing here but he said leftoids sorry yes leftoids. Not even a word. um but Yes, it was. It was. Um, it was a. It was a worthless conversation. A descriptivist. He couldn't discuss anything on a surface level. Um, mm -hmm. Honestly, it was. You know, uh, it was. It fucking. I. I never. I don't think I ever got. I got. Okay, he tried to define anarchism, so I got at least one question answered. Honestly, he wouldn't mm -hmm. answer a single fucking question. Like it was. It was. Yeah. That, that tracks. Yeah. I, I, I was, you know, I'm like, how is, like, what is, how is China Marxist? How is China Marxist? I ended up yelling it over and over. I'm like, how is China Marxist? Like, he refused to fucking answer it. And he's like, that's your job. Like, it's like, no, you're the one claiming this. I'm like, I'm claiming they're capitalist. Right? Like, I, that's what I'm claiming. You're claiming yeah, they're, I just, they're I, Marxist. I need to address something in your chat a second. So, EOR Explorers is in there. Who I know from around the place. Um... Oh, how do I put this? So China is very much right wing. Okay, they are th authoritarian capitalists. They are at best neoliberals, with leaning a bit into fascism. Right. However, because their party is still called the Communist Party of China, you will have tanky take it and run with it. Unfortunately, which means they full on fucking horseshoe theory themselves. Dude, the Dengus uh, the Dengus reforms brought in neoliberal capitalism. Like that's that's basically what Tiananmen Square is about at that point, right? Like it's it's that's that was Deng who's responsible for Tiananmen to a large extent, by the way. Um, but yeah, that's that's dude. The Dengus reforms brought in neoliberal capitalism. Like that's mm -hmm. and he was like, well, how are they capitalist? I'm like, okay, so let's go through. Uh, you know, billionaires. I was like, that's the best. The best argument I have is billionaires. Oh no no! I I literally I was like, okay, so what is profit? Right, it's like what is profit? Labor theory of value, right? Which Carl, which Karl Marx stole from Adam Smith. But let's labor theory of value. Let's what is profit? And I fucking walked him through this, and I'm like, okay, so where did that profit go? He's like, what do you mean it? Where it went? And I pulled up a list of Chinese billionaires and started listing off their net worth. I'm like, hmm, interesting. Wonder where that profit went. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, I just started going down the list. Pretty much what I do. Yeah. But on a more surface level, because most tankies don't even understand Marxist uh, labor theory of value, right? Yeah. So I do it on a more surface level. I'm like, communism does not have billionaires inherently. How many billionaires in China? What about Xi Jinping? I bet he's a billionaire. Let's look up his net worth together. Yeah, no, it's, it's fucking... Oh, uh, let's see. I fucking, I proper triggered um, that fucking Shiparuski motherfucker on one of his alts being like... Uh, explain you why, know Kim why Jong Un is a billionaire, right? D explain why Deng, <laughs> Deng Xiaoping was responsible. Oh, I don't know. What were his? Uh, what were? What were under Chi under the Chinese reforms? Uh, under the leadership of Deng, what were? What were the major reforms? Because I've got a list here. Some interesting. So just some interesting things that Deng did. Let's see. State-run farms, the communes, were disbanded, and peasants were allowed to rent their former communal lands. This led to. Um, Increases uh, in agri agricultural productivity, admittedly. Let's see. Consumer goods. Oh, interesting. Under capitalist reform, they began producing more privatized consumer goods, such as radios and TVs. Uh, let's see. Interesting. Factory management. Well, seeing as the old central planners were no longer useful, 
Managers and workers were allowed to sell their production to private buyers for a profit. A bonus system was introduced for productive workers as incentive to work harder. Interesting. Bonuses and privatized uh, factories uh, under no central planning. Um, that's that's fascinating. Um, oh, interesting. Here, uh, individuals are now allowed to own their own business. An owner was even allowed to hire workers. Private sector became responsible for a large proportion of China's industrial output. That's, fa that's fascinating. Um uh, Foreign investment. Ah, new laws encouraged foreign investment. These investors brought capital and high technology to enterprise zones created within the urban areas of China. Fascinating. Um, so, um, again, all of these reforms spearheaded, brought to the forefront, approved of, and happened under Deng's administration, um, as his goal was to modernize China. And since Deng openly opposed Mao's cultural revolution and stated unequivocally that once he came to power, he would be making, quote, practical reforms. Oh, God, what was bad about it? You know what? What was bad about everything of that was that it went from a land wherein everyone was equal and had yeah, the equity to I'll reach comfort I, to I, oppression by capitalists and no, all no, I'm not in that camp. All I'm saying is that fucking China's capitalist. <clears throat> That's all I'm yep. saying here. I'm not I making mean, a moralistic theory, judgment of theory, any kind. It went from. I don't approve of the old. I don't approve of the new. Fuck China under Mao. Fuck China under Deng. Fuck China. Fuck mm -hmm. the U.S., right? Like, fuck. Okay, this is anarchist. Well, part of this is complicated, right? But to say China isn't capitalist is insane because it is. It's basically state-run neoliberal capitalism, which, by the way, if you don't think that our shit isn't, it just depends how you define de facto statehood at that point, right? I would argue yeah. that the corporations are the state in our system, seeing as they control the system of governance. Therefore, it's state-run capitalism as well, just with a different order of hi uh, ordered hierarchy a little bit. It's, it's, it's state-run capitalism. It's, I, that's, that's my point. Oh, there's a load of conspiracy theories going around here. You're going to fucking love, Kai. Yeah. Every, a load of people are like, oh, God, the queen's dead. We haven't seen her in public in oh, months. Oh, I know that I one. she's dead. Yeah, I know that one. Uh, I'm pissing myself going, you realize that it is like... So going by the old laws, it is still punishable by death in the Tower of London to not immediately kick into gear the protocols that are in place if a monarch dies. <laughs> Rev apparently has got a little bit of a, 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 a boner for you. Oh, I've known that for a while. Uh, Rev, don't call me Kez. I haven't been Kez in ages. Come on, dude. I'm Alex or Lex or Lexi or whatever the fuck. You can call me that cunt in the corner for all I care. Just don't call me Kez, please. Okay, so you heard the cunt in the corner. Huh. Hey. Huh. <laughs> you give me you give me the okay on a nickname like that, I'm fucking swinging at it. Um... <laughs> Bitch, cunt, fucker, I don't care, right? As long as it's not my dead I've, name or anything related to my dead name. Um, that's, I've, I've really been loving saying cunt over and over when, with the, the, the C word discourse. I'm like, well, if, if, if we have a new C word, then you gotta cunt, you gotta kick cunt over to me. Right? Cunt is now on the table because I don't have a fucking euphemism for it, right? The C word is now the other word. So we can't be saying C word for cunt. That means I get to say cunt finally. So yeah, I've been yeah. I've been leaning into that one pretty hard. Do it. It's a great fucking word. Um uh, So Okay, I'm gonna have to dip because I have to get a massive fucking bird into brine for the next twenty four hours until I get it in the oven. I have to clean up my living room so I can put presents under the fucking Christmas tree, which I only finished wrapping last night. And, oh, I hate this time of year. I hate it. Ah, uh, well. Good luck. Whatever bless. Um, and if I don't, if I don't speak to you um, in the meantime, have a have a happy whatever. Yeah, YouTuber. Later. I will hang out and chat. Okay. Cool. Good luck. Love you. Love you too. Um,
live in Jersey for more than 10 years and you use it in every other sentence. <laughs> that is fair. That is fair. Um, by the way, I do believe uh, for, for, for everybody else, Civic probably means like the actual Jersey. Just FYI for the Americans in chat. Like if you're not familiar, the Jersey. The reason we have New Jersey is because there's an old Jersey. Just, just for the fucking Americans that don't un, don't have like geography. Uh, oh, we're doing this. Oh, we might do this. We might do this. I I kind of want to do a thing. 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 We're doing a thing. We're doing a thing. We're doing a thing. All right. Um, thank you, Red Commodity. Um, we're going to raid over, we're, we're going to raid, we're going to raid over to public and get public over a hundred. I don't know if public has ever been over a hundred, but we're going to get public over a hundred if we can. Um, eh, deal with it, correct. Um, oh yeah, Lex, Alex, yeah, trust me, we were, we saw it. Um, either way. Everybody else, um, we are doing bad movie, uh, bad movie tonight, uh, bad movie night tonight. I don't know if I'm going to stream tonight. We might not do a stream, but we, we will do bad movie night. We will see. We will see whether I do a stream tonight or not. I yeah, we will see. Um, but we will do bad movie night. I agree to that. Um, so here we're doing, um, I, we, yeah, it, uh, Today is Friday. Yeah, Zippy. Tonight. Tomorrow. Whatever the fuck. Not tonight tonight, but Friday tonight. Zippy. Um, fucking, you know, we've got like, I don't know, some bad Christmas movies lined up or something. Um, so, all right, let's go raid public and fucking say what's up. Everyone, catch y'all later. <laughs>